Let's get streaming! <laughs> you said we were that sad! Was, that was an in-joke that nobody will understand. No, we made the table laugh. No. Hello! Welcome to High Rollers D&D. Uh, this is the Dungeons & Dragons campaign here on the Yogscast Twitch channel. Also on High Rollers D&D's Twitch channel if you're watching over there. Thanks Yay. very much. Uh, welcome. I'm your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes. Welcome back. We're glad to be here. Joining me this week, ignore that, we have... Rhiannon. Hello. Trot. Kim. Hi. Other side. <laughs> Tom. I'm still here. Katie. <laughs> I dropped my dice. Everyone's what? here. Uh, Everyone's for some here. fun Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> good <laughs> times. Uh, I've got quite a lot to do, announcement and sponsor got a wise. Lot to do today. So I'm going to rattle through this. Ah. No time for jokes. <laughs> First of all, big thank you to our three sponsors this week. Wow. Three sponsors yes. this Dead. week. Um, first of all, first and foremost, D&D Beyond, the official digital tool set for Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. Long time sponsors, long time mm. friends. D&D Beyond is awesome, we love it, we use it. It's got a compendium, it's got a character builder, an encounter manager coming soon. If you're over on the High Rollers D&D Twitch, it's all got the Twitch integration, you can watch our hit points change and hover over it. You can watch it die in and real time. You can watch them <laughs> die in real time. Let's check that out. Um, check yeah. that out, D&D Beyond's really awesome. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about it in a bit, but at D&D Live, we're actually gonna be at the D&D Beyond studio. So they're, they're running the studio and yeah. we're gonna be in that studio. We love them, they're really great. Adam and Brian, we had a good time with Brian out with, in Twitch Berlin, that was good yes. times. Yeah. Um, check it out, D&D Beyond, it's really cool, coming soon. Next one is Display. Never buy a frame again. Oh. Disc plates are the beautiful metal wall prints that use magnets to stick to your walls. They are stylish as hell. We've picked out some of our favorites, of which this is one. This is a Rhiannon, I believe. Yeah. Bit yeah. of cowboy bebop. Yeah. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 um, <laughs> Uh, we've picked out some of our favorites and made a collection, which you can check out by going to the link in chat or in the video podcast descriptions. Um, if you decide to get yourself one of these amazing prints, you can use the code HIGHROLLERS15 to get 15% off your order. It doesn't have to have any of our prints in it. It can be any any prints. You just get 15%, but it should because they're great. Um, seriously, go and check out this plate. Forget posters. Forget heavy frames. Forget them. They look gorgeous. Get rid of them. And they're a great way to make a lo room look awesome. Yeah. yeah. So they're really, really cool. Go and check out Display and use that code, HighRolls15. And then lastly, an extra special sponsor for this, uh, this stream only, NordVPN. Yeah. Uh, I will talk a little bit about NordVPN just before we take our break. But NordVPN is a fantastic way to protect yourself and your data online. If you go to nordvpn.com forward slash HRDND. It's on screen. And on use the code HRDND, you can get 75% off a three-year plan and an extra month. Free. Yeah. Uh, and again, I will talk a little bit more about them just before the break. Stop that scrying. What? Thanks. That's we'll get there. DPM. We'll get there. Uh, <laughs> They're a little skit. Maybe. Yeah. <gasps> Announcement wise, um, we've got some new merch. Oh, sorry. That's new the most exciting thing. New merch. New we've got, merch. There it is. We've got two there amazing new shirts. <laughs> um, so Kim currently has the Barbarian long sleeve. So it has this design on the front and it says yeah. Barbarian Fueled by Rage. Um, long sleeves with dice, dice running down one side and then the other side is blank. Very, very comfy. Uh, Katie is modeling the new Ayla shirt, the I'm a Delight. A lot of you have been asking for this one. Um, it's really good. Nina did both designs. Yes, she did. Um, amazing job. Um, you can get those on store.yogscast.com now. They're, They're brand new. Is a bundle deal though. There's if a you bundle get both. deal. Oh so if God. you get both, you can get both of them for a 45. So you can represent your barbarian love and your Ayla love. You know and what? And just be a delight what? in general. I not know. only that. Is there a way to support the creator with a 10% <laughs> off code? Not exactly, Tom. You could get a bundle and save another 10% by using the code High Rollers. But not only that, Tom. What? It's not just 10% off High Rollers merch. It's on everything in the no! Yogscast store! No! Oh, that was loud. Sorry. That was loud. <laughs> um, seriously, uh, go to store.yogscast.com. You can pick up the new shirts there. Should we leave? Use code HIGHROLLERS. <laughs> She's gone. Um, you She's can gone. get sharky tees, you can get hat films crap, whatever you want. Uh, you can get Kim, Kim things, Kim mugs. Flux. I do stuff. Sometimes. Some flex buddy stuff. <laughs> uh, you can get all that, 10% off. Right, last quick thing. D&D Live. In a few weeks, we will be at D&D Live in Los Angeles yep. with a whole Wizards of the Coast team, loads of other D&D streamers, and all sorts of fun things. If you've got a ticket, we will see you there. We can't wait to see you. If you can't be there, you can watch our live stream game on Sunday, 
May 19th at 11 a.m. PST, that's 7 p.m. BST. Mm. Um, we'll be on twitch.tv forward slash DND Live One. We'll also be on twitch.tv forward slash DND Beyond. And we're going to try and also be on twitch.tv forward slash Rosecast as well. Whether nice. we can do that is. We're yet streaming to see. everywhere. We're going to yeah. try and stream Thanks. everywhere. We're going to try. Um, the most important thing to mention, though, is it's going to be the, the, the game that we're playing there is going to be the prologue for a brand new mini series that we're doing with yep. Wizards of the Coast for the new module that's yep. going to be announced at The Descent. Yep. Um, the exciting thing about this one, which is why I wanted to talk about it, is uh, for this 10-part series, mm -hmm. the players will be returning as yep. their Lightfall characters. <laughs> yeah! Uh, so we'll be going back to see Elora, Cam, Juto, Reynard, and of course, Rhiannon will be joining us as a brand new character in the Lightfall setting. Um, if you want more information than that, though, you have to tune in to D&D &D Live, uh, Sunday 19th of May, 7 p.m. BST, 11 a.m. PST. <laughs> hey! Did it. Do, do, yeah. My so, girl's coming back! Is there back. anything else I've forgotten? Uh, phone, cases. phone cases are also yep. on store.com, yogscast.com. Yep, very nice. Store.com slash yogscast, go there. <laughs> um, I think uh, that's, that's it. That's it. Let's um, do some D &D. No, that's it. That's Recap it. Time. Lots of exciting yeah. things though. Check them out. Um, let's play the Aurora's video. Woo! Hello, and welcome to Erois, a recap on our previous episode. Mm. Having been whisked away to the far continent of Voxar with the body of their deceased companion, Sentry, the party made a deal with the dwarven priestess of Kalara, the goddess of death, to assist them in seeking Sentry's resurrection. In exchange, the priestess, Scaldi, asked the party for their help in pacifying an ancient ruin of an undead presence and whatever was causing the spirit's unrest. Descending into the ruins, bypassing magical traps and undead guardians, the party found themselves face to face with a strange woman in a corrupted shrine filled with an endless black void. Clad in ruined black cloth and a strange silver mask over her eyes, she attacked them and drew upon some malign magic within the darkness. In the battle, Quillac Ad Kalar, chosen of Hesper, god of magic and knowledge, fell in battle, and none could reach him in time to save him. Quill died, and his spirit was lifted up and escorted beyond the cradle into the afterlife. Having defeated the woman, learning she served a being called Hadar, Ayla's memory recalled strange visions of things she never knew. Treasure was taken from the ruin, and the party returned to the village of Stenhill as Quill's body was placed beside sentries, and the group were left to decide with what should happen next. Mm. I'm sorry, I laughed because... Tom wrote, we dead, and at the top of the session, and then wrote, nope, I dead, underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> that was my entire notes from the last episode. Classic. Whoopsie. <laughs> so, you find yourselves in the small stone shrine to Kalara. Uh, these stacks of shelves and dozens of lanterns hang up on the, along the circular wall around you as Sentry and Quill's bodies lay together on the central altar. Oh. <laughs> And that was the last uh, image that we had the last time we played. So the question is, where do we pick back up? Have you guys taken some time to have a rest? Are you? Are we? Do you want to just jump straight back into inside the shrine? What do you guys want to do? Do you want to have made like some purchases and begun preparations for heading off? Do you want to have a discussion about where you're going? Should we discuss? I feel like we should discuss. <laughs> Let's discuss. <laughs> <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't really. Discussed. Team debrief. Team debrief. How did that go? Hands in. 
<laughs> this is a D and D stand up. Uh, we're going to be going through our agile performance. Technical analysis. <laughs> mm. It's four. So where where, is, where are you going to are you guys going to have this chat in the Temple of Kalara, or are you going to go to the the local inn? I think right. we'd already Best started moving, moving, hadn't we? No, uh, we I believe so. We went, nope. we, the last Ended thing we did Stenil. was putting Quill's body next mm -hmm. to Sentry. Yep. Mm. So we literally just got back. Mm. Well, we can pick up back there. Sure. It's always a good, good moment. Mm. 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 Sure. So, yeah, I hand it over to you guys then. Okay. And Stan. And Steve. <laughs> we go. Yeah. It's quiet. Yeah. It's very quiet in the temple. I'm Skull. so sorry about your friend. Again, to lose two of you. It must be hard. I wish I could have done more. If you weren't here, then it could have been much worse, so... Thank you for fighting with us. Well, I'm happy to be here to help you in any way I can, so if there's any, any way you want to go, anything you need to do, I am happy to assist you. So, what's the plan? That's a good question. What is the plan? Quill used to always come up with the plans. We used to good. at least try and lead us somewhat. So. Who wants to take the lead now? Definitely not me, not me, not me, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me! I, um, oh. I'm so beta. Honestly, <laughs> don't. It's not me. I think we just need a, a, a moment to process. Let's not rush into any decisions. We need to decide what the best thing to do for both of them is. As Ayla finishes speaking, there is an incredibly loud sound that erupts through the village of Stenhill. It sounds like something tearing, um, like fabric but metal at the same time, this horrid, shrieking, tearing sound as though the air itself was being pulled apart and you feel a ripple of force. Um, the building, the temple begins to shake ever so slightly. Dust begins to rain down from uh, the kind of uh, the roof uh, and you are left in this momentary kind of pause. Um, and you can see that outside through one of the thin slit windows of the temple, there is what appears to be a sort of blue tear of energy forming in the air. Uh, that doesn't look natural. Uh, what now? Scaldi, any idea? Does this happen frequently here? Because, you know, the storms are, are uh, not natural, so... I think that Scaldi is probably in the middle of the ritual to gentle repose. Mm. Um, so she's concentrating okay. as if, you know, unaware of the outside world. Can I... We can't fight right now. We've just lost two. Can I do a check to see if I can... Yeah, but you need to go outside. Can I not just do it from the safety of this window? You want to try and <laughs> peek through the window? Sure, make a perception check for me. <laughs> My safety. See how much of it you can see. So you can just about see like the image of it, but the detail. <laughs> Seven. So you're you're peering in, and all you really see is this kind of shimmering blue field, and you think you can see like a figure, uh, almost like somebody looking down through the portal, and they appear to be wearing like these long robes. And you think a mask, like a long, elongated mask. Oh, cool. But then there is a flash, and you see somebody tumble out of the rip, the, out of this rift. Um, Tom, do you want to describe what you look like? Uh, so, I guess I land flat on the ground, <laughs> like I'm laying there. Pancake. I guess what you can see is, like, red hair. I, I guess, how far away are they? They're pretty far, so yeah, keep, keep the details vague. So I think, yeah, red hair uh, that's on his head. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, babe, um, yes. And and I think that's basically all you are going to be able to see from that distance, like... Yeah, clothing-wise, anything uh, noticeable? Kind of like dark clothes. Um, unusual style, perhaps? Possibly. Unusual. It's not It's not Voxarian. Mm. Uh, it doesn't look like anything you've seen on Mere Skier. I don't think it's anything you've seen on Savona either. It's it's very tight. Mm. Um, it's like a tight leather suit almost. And Much like more a... similar to what you've probably seen the Court of Shadows wearing. These kind of like tight oh, leather God. suits. <laughs> on where? Oh. We're off to a good start here. On the Court of Shadows soldiers that you fought. These kind of like, not quite sci-fi, but that kind of tight leather suit. I'd already... Never. Uh, good news. Well, no, bad news. 
um, that mm, there's a person, uh, masks, mm, there was a masked person and now there's another person and they're wearing an outfit that looks quite toy. What if it's callous? The, the blue shimmer begins to collapse, folding in on itself almost, and then just poof, winks out of existence. But there is this crackle of magic that seems to kind of emanate across the whole town. And you begin to hear kind of like cries and shouts. What's going on? Oh, I don't know. And you kind of hear like murmurings kind of going around. Um, yeah. Can I go and just stand out? Side the door so you open the door it. and just step out. Yeah, so I guess, uh, Tom, for your character, uh, you have no idea where you are. Yeah. Um, you know where you were supposed to be. This does not look like it. I think it, it, it's painful. Yeah. And oh, so yeah, it was, like, it was a painful experience. So I'm like just laying there, just like with my eyes closed, just like, uh... <laughs> um, yeah, and you probably hear the faint sound of an, a creaky wooden door opening. Um, and then, yeah, Ayla, you look over, and I think at this point, Ayla has a much better, you know, close view of you, mm. um, not peering through this tiny, thin slit window. Um, so I guess you'll be able to see I'm very obviously now a fire ganassi. So his hair is literal flames. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's not are you red Hades? Hair. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're, it's a red kind, of, but like oh, Hades, kind one. of like the cool. yeah. when he's mad. In the yeah. same way that like Nova's hair is kind of cloud-like, mine is fiery and sort of um, it flickers at the tips. Yeah, and. Stuff. and yeah. Uh, I'm wearing like a casual jacket over that sort of black tight suit. Um, and I am just like flat on the ground, two arms. Uh, 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 holy <laughs> shit. Yeah. One leg. This, arm, has, this left arm can now come out for the sessions. It's amazing. Um, and I'm just like, yeah, again, I'm just like, it wasn't meant to hurt that much. You said it wasn't meant to hurt that much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there's a man out here on the ground whimpering. And his head's on fire. What? It okay. doesn't sound like Kellis I mean, at all. That could be why he's whimpering. He's whimpering a lot, so I, I don't think he's It could still be dangerous. Be careful. I mean... I'll come with you? Sure. I'll throw my sword. Yeah, you can see that now a few local... local Muskirans, these kind of hardy folk that live in the area or kind of wearing like rough tunics. Some look like they have patchy leather armor or little bits of chain mail poking in. A few of them have gathered like spears and they're kind of making their way over towards this young man, very curiously, like, mm, um, as you begin making your way over. Yeah, as well. I gotta pick up the hammer and just stroll on over. Oh, Mother Siaska! God! Oh, boy! Guys? Guys? Who are you, strange man? Whoa, hey! Hello. You can see these, like, I'd say probably there's uh, a male human, a male female, um, a human female, sorry, and then a dwarf male, and they're all kind of like leveraging like weapons and stuff at you, like, where did you come from? Uh, you just fell out of the sky. I fell out of the sky? That doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right at all. Uh, hey, do you, have you seen um, two other guys? Uh, well, one guy and uh, a girl, and uh, they might have landed. Where am I? They like look around like too many strangers of late appearing out of nowhere. And they kind of recognize Ayla like, Araya, Wild Elf, is this one with you? He's a strange like you. No, but yeah, we're, I don't know. Is it safe to come out? Yeah, no, but it's safe, it's fine. I'll just like poke my head under, under Where do Ayla's you arm. think you are? Well, where am I? Where were you supposed to be? Well, that's a good question. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, uh, but where am I? In the arse end of nowhere, pretty much. What, really? Yeah. Hey. Well, that's perfect. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. <laughs> I work hard in this village. <laughs> I know, it's a lovely village. Village? But You're in Stenhill. None Hill. of us intended this. Stenhill? Stenhill? Yeah, I don't know either. Stenhill? In Merskir. Mersk? What the? Merskir? Oh, come on! <laughs> Have you seen the other guys? The there's, other two, are they... There's nobody else but you, strange fireman. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on a minute. And I'll sort of turn away from everyone as much as I can and, like, look into my arm as far as you can see me. Like, guys? <laughs> I feel like you see him turn around. But it's very obvious he's, like, doing this. <laughs> and you can see that on his wrist there is this very strange-looking piece of equipment. It does look more like Starbane tech than anything else you've seen. Mm -hmm. um, it has like a strange green glow, but you can now see, and, and when you look down, K, 
character whose name hasn't been revealed yet. <laughs> um, you can see the main disc is sh is cracked right down the middle. Oh. Um, and yep. there is, it's not just a crack, there's essences leaking out of it. Oh! Oh, uh, hey, anyone got any pieces for this? Might have landed around here somewhere. Can you see it? On the floor? It's broke. I need Who it. Who are you? Who are you with? Who are you working for? Working for? I, hey, we're, we're all friends here, right? No, guys, we're not, guys not with the spears, go with the hammer. That's a big, big hammer you got there. Anyone? I, well, I am working for no one. I'm just a guy who's just appeared here. Weird, huh? Where's that tag from? That the, thing on your this, this thing found it. Found it long, long. Uh, Nova? Nova. <laughs> I'm just gonna like peek out from behind. Like I'm just. Gonna, I've been hiding behind Ayla this whole time. This <laughs> tiny thin air Ganassi just kind of. Meh. Oh hey. Ha hey 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 hey. Hey. You're a fire Ganassi. Yeah, you're an air Ganassi. That's at least <gasps> friendly compared to the people with the spears and the stuff. Where oh, are you from? Boy, that's a big sword. Is everyone here armed? Yep. Cause uh, I'm Heavily. not. <laughs> You'll hey. need to be. What? I need to be? Yeah. Why are you gonna hurt me? Dangerous land around here in Merskir. It's also super far away from Aramanaby. Uh, Which, which is, is where? Not here, okay? And Define more. Are you from Vortensar? Kinda. Kinda. Long time ago, yeah, I guess. But, uh... Specifics, though? Would hey, you so know? what did you see when I came in? Well, you face planted real good. Yeah, but a little bit before that. That really hurt, actually. But a little bit before that. Uh, there was a blue flash and a mask. Blue flash and mask. Okay, so hey, that's not meant to be there. That was meant to be like way further away, okay? Uh, with the rest of my guys, my friends, my bigger, stronger guys, who actually might be around here, so okay. Don't. I'll just let the lightning like go down into the hammer a little bit. Why is Lucius doing it this point? <laughs> It's gonna step out at this point. I think. Okay, so you've been like like peeking yeah. through the window at this point. Also, oh, we got our two friend bodies behind us. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I'm, Scaldi's I'm, in there. Okay, sorry. Okay, I'm walking forward like this. So you see, <laughs> you see this very glamorous, well kept, princely looking eye elf, long blonde hair, covered in jewels and bright clothing. Hey, where'd that one come from? Did he just portal in as well? Who are you? Come on, huh? Just answer their questions. D my name is Piri. Hey. Piri. Hey, yeah. Piri, hey? What no. kind of name is that? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> or uh, like that. <laughs> I mean, I didn't think we were going on a second name basis here. My name's Piri Adara. Okay, who are you? Torman. <laughs> son of Torman. Torman, son of Torman. Cool. Um, so the clan have pulled that out of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Look, sometimes I don't have my NPC names to hand, okay? Doorman. <laughs> Alright, well, well, what about you guys? Who are you guys? Before we answer, and obviously it's very respectful to do so, and I apologize mm. that we haven't done it already. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, yeah. We noticed that you came out of a blue thing, uh -huh. Very similar to another type of person slash thing that's here to destroy all of Aroes. So if you'd like to, uh, you know, just put out some of the fires of fear that are going around, that would be lovely. The fire, I mean, <laughs> I get it, that's a good one. But, so Piri, uh, as you begin speaking, you feel heat and pressure building up on your wrist. <laughs> um, and the, the sphere of the device crackles and there is a burst of energy. No! Um, it, it splinters, it completely shatters now at this point. Um, and the air around Stenhill begins to crackle. And another one of these rifts begins to form. Oh! Oh, God, the map's coming out! Okay. That's a. <laughs> I was gonna be nice to you, man. <laughs> what, what have you brought? <laughs> I don't know. The best thing is, is Tom was not expecting this. I mean, you have to remember when it comes to character creation, we tend to give Mark very little and just let him run with it. So this is all. Speak for yourself. Out Tom. of my control now. So, um, so this stone here. Uh, once we switch to the map, so this is like the stone bridges in Merskir. Um, 
The green is kind of like boggy, wet marshland. And then the stone bridges connect all the houses up together. This is the Temple of Kalara, this large building here. This is just like a random house. And you guys are all around this kind of central area here where Piri's landed. Um, Excellent. We have a tiny Azir for Piri because he has yeah. flame head. The um, only mini with head. a flame head. <laughs> <laughs> flame head boy. So Lucius has only just really stepped out of the yes. thing. I'm peeking. Oh, why is there? Scald is inside at the moment. Um, and yeah, you begin to hear this crackle as another one of these portals will be um, Oh, nice. Thank you, Sid. Sid's going to come in and zoom the camera in a little bit. Um, and you watch as another one of these rifts begins to form. And as it does, as this tear in air and space, this chill, cold wind, begins to blow and little flurries of snow begin to drift in and you watch as three creatures, each one made completely out of ice, pull themselves free and they look around I've like and then as they away. see life and they begin chasing towards the nearest living thing. That's going to be roll initiative for, okay. for everybody. Are they with you? If you die, <laughs> I don't have an Im I don't have a I don't have an Im uh, a mini for uh, Torman. Will oh. you score? Will Torman? you Scaldi for Torman? <laughs> Torman, best NPC. Torman, Torman, he is Torman. Torman. <laughs> and the masters of the universe. <laughs> Torman. Sure. Right. So Ayla, initiative. Nineteen. Piri. Seven. Nova. Eighteen. Lucius. 16. And Oriah. Three. <laughs> Whopping <laughs> story. Felt your so you watch as uh, two smaller creatures. They appear to be almost imp-like. These little winged creatures made of ice. Um, long icicle shard-like limbs. And then one larger creature, which appears to be more of a humanoid shape. Kind of curved icy horns, big icy wings. All completely made out of ice. Emerge mm. from this portal. Okay. I just see a lot of hair. I have a query. For some reason, I have full everything. So yeah, you guys took a long rest. rest. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you all took just a long rest. Just checking. We took a long yep. rest. Checking. We are at full power. <clears throat> and so I believe that it begins with Ayla. Do they plop into the swampy bog land? They oh. they are flying. They are like oh. they're excellent. Their wings are flapping. How, how far are they off the ground? Are they low to the ground? Um, at the moment, they're low to the ground. They're they're uh, like five feet, but they're just not touching the boggy terrain, which will count as difficult terrain. So double movement to move through. Noted. Um, so I am going to turn to new guy here. Yeah, as far like, as as far as Ayla is, the rest of you are concerned. By the way, you watched the thing on the guy's wrist blow up, and then this portal with these ice monsters appeared. On this cam, uh, your face is perfectly reflected in that. <laughs> 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 now it has been seen, it cannot be unseen. It's like the Watcher or something. Oh, like. fuck's sake. <laughs> Tom, Tom, would you please move it so Trot does not die? There you go. He will die. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> right. <Ayla>. Um, <laughs> that's amazing. Sad, sad. The fire guy is currently in front of you. Okay. If you brought this upon us now, not then I'm gonna get you. It's not purpose. I'm gonna just push him out oh, of the way. Okay. Yeah, make a strength check for me. Me? Punch oh, yeah. him into the bog. Me? Yeah, both of you make strength checks. See who oh, gets okay. Fired. Damn it. Uh, My strength save or strength check? Strength check, so just, just modify. Uh, 17. 16. Ah, still be here. You push him and he slips off the bridge <laughs> into the bog. Oh. <laughs> and you just land with a squelchy splat. And I will rage and charge forward at... <laughs> so you hop off this kind of stone platform and you watch as, probably down to your knees, you kind of sink into this bog. Mmm, delightful. Um, so I will take two hits. Sure, go for it. So you have um, the smaller creature in front of you. Is that what you're going for? Um, because the other one. I'll go for the bit... bigger one actually, but okay. I can still get to it. Yeah, if you can just move, just move so. yourself to where you need to go. Uh. Okay. Uh, oh my god! I rolled trash twice. <laughs> well, we're back. 
13 to hit. 13 to hit is not enough. The hammer no. smashes against the creature's icy forearms, but it kind of anticipates the blow and pushes back okay. with its own strength. So I don't hit with either of those. Um, you really? So you didn't get higher than no, 13 I got, either? No. Okay. And then deck save for me on the lightning blast. That is a four. So six points of lightning damage. Whoa. Six points. Big zap. So the lightning kind of Whoa. blasts into it, but being a creature made of ice, you send chips and you know small shards of ice, but it just kind of like, and it comes towards you with its icicle-like hands. Um, after Ayla, it is Nova. Can I? Are these guys with you? No. Can you can you pick me up? Why? <laughs> um, it's can I? a sludge. <laughs> Uh, would it be an action to help him up, or...? Yeah, screw that. Um, <laughs> It'd be an action to pull him free, yeah. I'll, I'll just go... Can I just go near him? Like, just... So, just in front of Tor Man, yeah. Tor Man. Oh. Um, <laughs> I think... The savior of the universe. <laughs> if he becomes a hero, I'd love that. <laughs> He's gonna become the new Barris, isn't he? Uh. Tor Man. <laughs> Tor Man. Uh, can I firebolt? One of them. Yeah, absolutely. Which one? Uh, is the two smallers or the larger one? The little one. Yeah, you're gonna go for one of the little ones? Yeah. Okay. I have A and B. Um. <laughs> um nine. No, the you, We're back! You, you <laughs> fling the firebolt, but it kind of like it ducks at the last minute, this little creature. <laughs> It seems like as the fire, it's like looking up in panic, and you see all three of them like, oh fuck, like <laughs> fire. Like they they seem very hesitant. Could uh, it be like a Matrix style slow mo, like, <gasps> yeah, it looks it terrifying. Singes a single hair, a single um, icy hair. And reacting to that, unless you've got anything else you'd like to do. No, oh, he's gonna blast me, anyway. No, the way, yeah, they're gonna fly over. <laughs> do I get a swipe on that? Uh, you would against that one, yes. Not against this one. Maybe that'll hit. Sixteen? Hit sixteen hits that one, yes. Um So we'll have that one be A. Seven, eight, nine, hit, eleven. Wait. And you are using a hammer, are you not? So you would deal bludgeoning damage. I would. Yeah, good. That's good to know. That so um wait, seven, eight. Thirteen points of bludgeoning damage. Cool, double it. Whoa. So twenty-six. Yep. You swing up, and as it's, as it's flying away, you kind of quickly throw the hammer to the other hand, yeah. spin round, and as the hammer hits it, it just shatters this thing. This thing is just nice. into, into ice shards. Nice. Um, and just completely cool. ev evaporates. Was it that one? Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, because the other one moved around the other side. Oh. It was um, the other one flaps its way into the direction, and then it kind of is like... <laughs> And it breathes out this cone of frigid air. So Nova, yeah. uh, Torman, and oh, Torman. Uh, Piri. This is it. Rip Torman. And, and, and Araya and Lucius. In fact, all of you guys, because I think it's gonna. What type of? Oh, actually, no, not Piri. So Yay. everybody else. What's yeah. The save? Uh, dexterity, please. So everybody, but. Oh yeah, <laughs> Torman. It was almost a three. Oh, it rolled man. over to a nineteen. Yeah. Uh, Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Twenty-two. 23. 23. 21. 21. Nice. You all take half damage, you take two cold damage. Oh. As does Torman. Torman! <laughs> <laughs> two HP. Uh, cool. So that is their little go. Uh, we go to Lucius next. Um, I'm going to, on my little podium, mm -hmm. I assume isn't there. I oh, know, it's like a little bridge. Yeah, it's like a little kind of uh, stone bridge. I'm going to throw a four inch little ball of orange glow at the big boy at the back. It's a chromatic orb of fire. Okay. Range spell attack. That's a 10 plus 6, 16. 16 hits. <laughs> this is fire, yes? Yeah. Yes. Double all your damage. Oh. 4d8. But no dichromancy, because fire is not one of your dichromatic It's not. But you double, double the 4d8. Turn yet. I know. <laughs> it's like, oh, no, the, the fire monsters. man, I know. <laughs> Just hug them. Yeah. <laughs> Put my head against them. Like 23 is 46. Wow. <laughs> Where, this was this tiny Where was this last one? Where was this one? We needed it. We could have done with this last one. We week. need to find more ice. So you watch as you spin the fire orb, it 
connects into the center of the larger I creature. I rip it like a Beyblade. <laughs> Let it rip! <laughs> and you watch this little spinning Amazing. orb. Um, it collapses into its chest and it just melts the creature away. Oh, right oh. in front of Ada. It's just like... Oh, it melts. Oh. Um, okay. Lucius. <laughs> Anything else you'd you like to do, Lucius? You just your own name. Uh, that's me. Torman. Torman's gonna get hit before you are. I know. Get out of the way, Air Ganassi. I'll handle this. <laughs> he hits. Sure. Uh, he's got a spear. Oh, he's using it two-handed. He can roll a d8, actually. Over here. Oh, wow. Two points of damage. Nice. Oh, tall man. Just give him back what was given. Yeah! <laughs> it just, it like, the, the spear just chips off a part of this creature, and it's like... <laughs> oh, <laughs> just my hero. Back. <laughs> um, he's all about man. Uh, Piri. I believe it is you. Uh, I'm struggling in the mud, so do I need to? It's just prone, and it's just half movement to get out. Ah! Uh, like dub double movement to get out. I like. So it's ten feet basically to get out that spear. That's uh, cool. Okay, and I need to stand up as well. Yeah. So half, and then ten feet. Uh, uh, and I clamber up onto the bridge again. Uh. <laughs> so you watch as this it kind of covered in a bit of muck and, and goo. Uh. Oh, that's <laughs> a bird thing. Uh, I guess my hair kind of lights up a bit. And I'm gonna start zipping it. Start zapping it. With um, what, what, describe <laughs> what this looks like. What I'm, are you doing? I'm using unarmed strikes. So you're gonna punch, you're not gonna use oh. it. Hitting it, and at the tips of my fingers there's some fire, and I'm using a key point, that's right, um, to do a flurry of blows on it as well. Great. Make four unarmed strikes, I believe. <laughs> yeah, and a bonus action as well to uh, yeah, get well, the Well bonus action is to is to flurry, yeah. So, so you make two like attacks a and then keep key point. <laughs> Oh yeah, welcome to No Heal Squad, by the way. Yeah. Uh, We're fine. So, 8, 13, 13, and 23. What, are those your attack rolls? Yeah. The 8 misses, the 13, 13, and 23 all hit. Cool. So three, three unarmed strikes connect. Oh god, I missed you too. <laughs> oh, oh. These are all bludgeoning attacks, correct? Uh, I guess so. If yeah, unarmed strikes are bludgeoning, so double each one. Why are you rolling 4d6? Because each hit. You th no, the 8 missed. You got three. three oh, three. I'll take the two away then. No, I'll do it. <laughs> um, right. Cool. Four, six, eight, <sighs> ten, eighteen damage. Double it. That was 36 nine. Thirty-six damage. That was nine. Yeah, but uh, double that. You watch as Piri pulls himself up, runs up to this thing, and you watch as this flurry of strikes, all very targeted, made each one with precision, kind of you know, martial art moves after each one. And at the end of each point, like a small gout of flame erupts from his hands and he just pummels this thing and it just psh, breaks and shatters. Zip, zip, zip. Um, as you watch, it just psh, psh, psh. They weren't with me. They weren't with sure? me. That's a trick to try and impress us. Doing a very good job. Uh, Araya, <laughs> Ar Araya, your turn. The portal is still open and you can feel this freezing, howling wind. Oh. Um, coming from it. And Ayla, you can see there are more shapes making their way towards the portal. There's some things coming this way. How the heck do I close this? Somebody help. Throw him in it. What? No, come on. Maybe if we throw him in it, it'll close. No, it came from my watch. Where's my watch? Oh, it's in the mud. Oh, Nova! Did... <laughs> what do we do? How do we close Nova? this? Do Why are you shouting my name? Because you're smart. Do you know things? Um... Uh, it's Araya's turn. <laughs> <laughs> so... I'm going to just... Do you, do you, if you want to try making a check to try and figure it out, or... Yeah, I'll sure. do one of yeah, those. It's an yeah. arcana check arcana if you want to try and figure it out. 18. 18. So, you know a little bit about magic, just from spending time with the fleets and learning from shamans and things like that. Um, something like this, you think that you will either have to have somebody who's very knowledgeable about magic perform some sort of ritual or something to close it, um, which out of character would be making arcana checks next to it. You have to go up to it and make arcana checks to close it. Mm -hmm. Or um, sometimes portals like this can be destabilized by elemental damage. So yeah. doing lots of elemental damage to the portal itself will collapse it. Okay. So I will give you that knowledge with that arcana check. Okie dokie. But only you know that so far. <laughs> okay, I'll relay that. To the group. <laughs> there's, there's, we know there's just six now. seconds. <laughs> we need to go up and make arcana checks every round. What? We have to perform <laughs> magical rituals to close it. Blast it! Or hit it. Or blast it with elemental damage. So weapon damage won't close it, but things like fire, cold, acid, lightning, um, force, any of that will work. 
Can I try and just... It's not... Ah, oh, it's it's not a rise turn. Sit That's down. Right. You are still in initiative for a very good reason. Would Guiding Bolt work? Uh, guiding Bolt would do radiant damage. That would work, yeah. Yeah. You're oh, going to try and fire I'm out the shield? To... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Does it have a shield? Yeah, I forgot Wait. about it. Uh, the shield that you yeah, picked up. Yeah, the fancy shield. What is its name? Uh, it is... Shieldy Boy. Starlight's Bulwark. Star Starlight's Bulwark. Nice. Yeah. So oh, do I just straight up do you just stab? Uh, no, it's a it's a ranged spell attack. Yeah. Um, so it has a bonus to hit with it. I think. Check the description on it. Um, it uh, might say I'll, I'll not it on the item. Sorry. Let me just load up this old sheet again. Quill. Uh, yeah. No, sorry, on the oh, item. Oh, the barrier ring. Dead corpse. There we go. Nice. And then <laughs> it should say what your I mean, spell attack bonus is somewhere. Right? Yeah. I think. <laughs> bonus. Too soon. Uh, uh, yeah. We have nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. We don't have a healer um, anymore. So. Yeah, see there, what does that say? Bolt. It just says the uh, spell level. So it would be your proficiency bonus, which is three. Okie dokie. Plus your wisdom bonus, okay, so which is two, five. so it's plus five to hit with it. Cool, all right, I'll do that. Six. Plus five. Plus five, 11. 11 oh. is enough. It's an AC 10 to hit the portal. Nice. Um, so now you roll damage. 46. Yeah, there it is. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 17, 18 points of damage. Okay. You, The guiding bolt slams into this kind of blue shimmering portal and you watch as the, the portal itself begins to fold and collapse, but it's not quite sealed yet, but it looks on the very verge of, of, of sealing. Okay. Um, but yeah, not quite enough to fully close it. Cool. Um, at an initiative count of one, you watch as mm -mm. more of these creatures <laughs> begin to pull oh. their way through. Ah, just two of the small guys, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> no, wait, there's three of them. <laughs> oh, that one's floaty. Um, so you watch as, yeah, basically like three more of the same creatures kind of pull their way through. Um, but Ayla, at the start of your turn, you take two points of cold damage. As the portal itself, ice is beginning to form around the world, around the portal. So the actual ground is beginning to freeze as long as the portal is open. And it shows no sign of slowing. Um, that is that. At the top of the round, another portal. Oh, what? what? Oh, God. Um, this one, as it begins to open, this is a green portal. The portal itself is verdant. You can see beautiful trees and flowers, and what look like tiny little houses built amongst them, um, and pulled, unlike the other creatures, the ice creatures, which pulled their way in through the portal, five creatures are almost thrown out of it, um, and they turn in desperation. You see... Aww. Uh, it appears to be uh, very small, tiny creatures. One appears to be a tiny female figure with a flower crown and a little dress made of acorns and rose petals. Um, the other four appear to be little warriors with tiny little bows and swords and shields. Um, and you hear in a kind of high-pitched voice like, What has happened? The Unseelie have tried to kidnap the princess! We must protect her at once! My lady! And they kind of form up a defensive ring. What has happened, my, my, my warriors? And they begin like scanning around. Um, what is happening? And yeah, they, they seem utterly confused by what has happened. <laughs> <laughs> Do not let them near, we must retreat. The portal appears, we cannot pass through. And they, they're pressing up against this, this portal, but they don't seem to be able to pass through it again. Um, <laughs> uh, Ayla. Somebody fucking kill those things, they're so annoying. <laughs> Um, I the will... violent, angry one must serve the unseelie. Oh, good God! I ready will... your ready your bows, men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you start putting away these little, and they pull out little bows. I will shout um, to <laughs> Lucius. Do you think you can do something about the portal if I kill the things? Uh? Which one? The cold one. Yes. That seems I the bigger threat. <laughs> <laughs> we will not take this insult, men! Show them what we mean in the fairy courts! Target that one! And they point over towards Lucius. Uh, oh, the bigger picture that's come through. Oh, oh my god, I can't roll. <laughs> What's new? <laughs> Highest attack? 13. 13 is not enough. Oh, Fuck me. This thing's like, nah, nah, kind of pushing Deck away against you. Throw. Oh yeah, saving throw. Boop, boop. You could target the portal as well with your lightning if you wanted to. 
Could I do that? Because it's my aura yeah. anyway. Yeah, it's your so. aura. Like, you target a creature, yeah, right? The portal is a creature. It's, it's an it, it will automatically fail its deck sim through because it's a portal. It can't move. One. Uh, oh, so close to closing it. One. <laughs> So you watch as like, you kind of blast the one hand open at the portal and you watch it begins to fracture and it's become very small but still this cold aura is emanating out of it. Um, the four little warriors with their bows uh, are going to target uh, Lucius. Um, <laughs> God. He has insulted the, the princess's honor! <laughs> and they all fire tiny little needles. They weren't a threat. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, they're the lesser threat. Of the two. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. All right, Larry. <laughs> 21 to hit. On? Yeah. Yeah, that hits. Uh, 20 to hit. Why? Yeah. Uh, 22 to hit. Oh, oh my god! god. Yeah. Don't nine, get nine by to these hit. No. Right, so it's you take kill. you take three hit three hit you. You take three. one point of damage from each one. <laughs> so you take three damage. Oh, stop it. But you need to make three constitution really? saving throws. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Are they Natural sweet? one. They're yeah, sweet. don't worry. Yeah, don't don't make any more. Uh, Lucius, you're like, would you? <laughs> you, fall, you fall asleep. You fall unconscious. <laughs> Little credit. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! We have shown him men. Under the others. Um, Wait, does that work? He's an elf. Uh, oh, you can't be magically put to sleep, can you? Well, yeah. then you don't fall asleep. Okay. Boom! I remembered yeah. a thing. <laughs> Is it magically though, or is it? Um, no, this is a poison. You're right. It is a poison. Oh, yeah. that down. Yeah. <laughs> it is a poison. Oh well. <laughs> All right. Um, and then at the end of their turn, all five of them are going to vanish and they turn invisible. What? <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> Protect the princess! <laughs> Jesus Christ! We must find a way through this barrier. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, that was Ayla's go. Nova. I would. Does Eldritch Blast count as elemental damage? It's force. Yes, force is a force type of, of magical damage. We'll count it. I would like to blast the portal. Sure. And one of the tiny creatures. Can't see Which them. ones? Oh, not the invisible. <laughs> the ice ones. Yeah. <laughs> not the sprites or the pixie. Mm. Uh, yeah. No. Um, let's try not to kill them. We could maybe get them back to where they belong. <laughs> 18 and a 14 um, plus 7. So. so which one's against which? Uh, so the 14 against the portal and the 18 against the... Smart. Smart. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, both hit, so roll the portal damage. And then plus, plus 7 to each of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so roll portal damage first and then do the other one. Seven. Seven. You watch as the Eldritch, this purple beam of Eldritch Blast hits this last portal. Finally, it collapses and seals. The creatures remain, but the portal is now closed. And you hit one of the dinky ones. With a ten? Ten Is points ten? of damage. Yeah. It's the double zero. It's force damage, though. Um, you... Yeah, so you watch as the, the blast hits the creature in the wing, shatters part of its wing, it kind of like, bleh, bobs up and down, but still seems uh, functional and in flight. Does the other portal like look changed with this one disappearing? No. 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 Uh, these little creatures. Oh, definitely. They're gonna swarm around Ayla. Um, can you make two dexterity saving throws, please? Do I have advantage on They these breathe crazy. cold air all over you. Do I have advantage on dexterity? No. Um, <laughs> Unless you tell me that you 90. do. Uh, so one is. Uh, 23, yep. and other is not as much, 12. 12, both pass, which means you take half damage, so you take four cold damage total. As they breathe this icy cold air all over you. They'll piss off. <laughs> piss off. The that. That'll convince them to make the uh, <clears throat> Lucius. <laughs> nope, nope, sorry, before Lucius. Princess Persephone must go. Oh my god. Oh, she's called this. Uh, Hmm. But she's invisible, right? She is invisible. She will. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Here we go. You gotta look up a spiel. Uh huh. We're all gonna be taken down by tiny, tiny people. I'm really worried about the next universe we're gonna look into. <laughs> Come on, D&D Beyond. You look for a portal, there's five people sat at a table. 
<laughs> Come on. Here. God, what the hell? <laughs> what? Too real, man. Too real. <laughs> Uh, ten foot radius sphere. Oh, great! Can everybody who is conscious, except Ayla, so all the guys in the middle, can you all make great. wisdom saving throws? I will make oh. one for Torman. Oh, Torman fails. Uh, okay. So. Eight. Eight. Sixteen. Sixteen. Ten. Ten. Everybody but Nova, you are now confused. <laughs> uh, at the start of your turn, roll a d10. And that okay. will decide what you do. Okay, um, what the hell? And the, you watch yeah, as the, the little the little princess reappears temporarily. <laughs> she kind of points <laughs> over it, and you just watch as your friends' minds get clouded. Um, I've dis I have disabled them, my warriors. <laughs> uh, Lucius, you're asleep. <laughs> Can I do a save? Um, no, I don't believe you do. I what? Think you are. You're asleep until somebody wakes you up. Um, you can be woken up by being damaged or by being shaken violently. Um, somebody <laughs> literally has to come and slap you awake. You're like sleeping beauty asleep, like oh, dreaming of daddy and all the good times. Um, I don't have issues. Let's be honest, you're dreaming of daddy. Uh, <laughs> don't have issues. <laughs> uh, Piri, I uh, believe it's right. the start of your turn. Roll a d10 for d10. me, please. d10, one. The creature uses all of its movement to move in a random direction. To determine the direction, roll a d8 and assign a direction to each face. So we'll basically have one be that way, and, and then, then it round goes round. Yeah. So five, so one, one, two, three, four, five. So you just roll All of straight. my movement, Mark. Yep. I'm moving 80 <laughs> feet that way. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, of the, 45, the yeah. So, so you went from here, five, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Right. So, so you're just yeah. slogging through the swamp. <laughs> I must go. I must go. Portals. I think my watch Let's is over, this, over way. this way. I just imagine Nova's just going to watch him walk past, just like, okay. No, you, he doesn't walk past you. You watch as this flaming blur just <laughs> runs past like Quicksilver. Yeah. Doing the Terminator run, like. Da -da 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 -da. Just running um, past. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Um, Araya, yeah. roll a d10 for me, please. Six. Six. The creature doesn't move or take actions this turn. You just... Um, oh, <laughs> you can make a wisdom saving throw and now you can make a wisdom oh, okay. saving throw. So I was going to say, is there a way to get out of it? 16, 19. You pass. 22. You pass. So Yay. you kind of like, you're like, Ugh, what? <laughs> um, Sweet. God. Confusion's horrible. It's hilarious. It really is. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you're kind of like stunned for a moment and then you just hear the, oh no. <laughs> uh, coming from the thing. The gargoyle creature will step up to Ayla. Make an attack, two attacks. Uh, first one is a five. Nope. Second one is a five. Two natural ones in a row. Nice. More of that. Uh, yeah, there probably will be. From you, um, They've gone, they've Our gone. Point. So, at the end of the round, nobody is near that portal. That portal is now closed. At the top of the round... Oh, no! Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> yes. From this one, from this portal, you see a... A world of fungal infection, a landscape ah! of mushrooms and strange growths as a hulking creature covered in spores and growths emerges from the portal. Oh, it's oh, huge! Oh, God! Okay, is that accurate size? <laughs> it is a large creature. Um, oh. And you watch as it drags, and you can see this gross infection beginning to creep out of the portal oh, itself. No. Um, when you looked over towards the, the, the pixie portal, by the way, it looked like the ground around that portal was rejuvenated. It looked like it was healing, or, uh, you know, growing, you know, gaining energy, vitality kind of oh. thing. It's nice. Um, That's nice, Mark. Good. Sure. Uh, <laughs> so, do, do, do we go to, at the top of the round... I thought this would be a sad RP episode. <laughs> mm. Well, it maybe. It will be about our feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to recklessly attack. Fuck. Fucking do it. Advantage on each attack. Um, so, nine, ten, <laughs> 16? 16 hits. Ah, Yay, hit. second attack. Uh, that'll hit because that's fire. Sure. All right, roll damage and then double it because it's bludgeoning. <laughs> well, two hits. 
So you've now got to run all the way back yeah. <laughs> through the muck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, 10. 13 doubled, so 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. 38 damage, make a dexterity saving throw if you stay that, That's for both attacks, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, 11. Fail. Three lightning damage. Three lightning damage. With the last blast of lightning, the ice creature is destroyed. Um, but the two smaller ones remain. Uh, would you like to do anything else? Just keep smacking. Hey, tidy princess. We don't want to hurt you. We don't care. Please just go home. You cannot go home. You have trapped us here. We have done nothing. Torman is still confused. Oh, yeah, yeah. Torman does nothing. Oh, good. However, does not save out of the effect. <laughs> <laughs> the tiny voices, where are they from? <laughs> I must serve the queen. <laughs> 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 Reese laughed and got She's me. She's gone. She's gone. <laughs> like a tall man gets uh, back. Uh, Nova. <laughs> oh, the crap no. out of Lucius. Yeah, you just move on to Lucius. You're like, wait go, up. Yeah, go over to him. Yep. Like, Are you not confused? No. No, no she's saved. She's saved. Lucius, I wanna, I wanna you go, wake up. I want to oh, go like, yeah, this side. What happened? You have three I'm tiny just... needles sticking out of your neck like Ace Ventura. <laughs> it's going to be like, wait up, wait up, wait up, wait okay. up, wait up. Uh, I'm awake. What's happening? Oh my god. You <laughs> see this giant <laughs> mushroom creature <laughs> looming down towards you. Right, put me back. Put me back to sleep. Nope. <laughs> wait up. <laughs> uh, so that was your action. You still have a move and a bonus. Um. Do anything with bonus. Do you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna bonus action hexblade curse big mushroom boy. Okay. Just for the balls. Right. From from the from the invisible shadows, you hear. No, he has woken. Quick, place him back under. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers. They have advantage because they're invisible. Oh. My oh. God. Uh, Twenty-one to hit. Yeah. Uh, Eighteen to hit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 23 to hit. Oh yeah. my god! Um, 22 to hit. Yeah. Oh four god. damage and make four constitution saving oh throws, god. please. Why more? Oh, two. <laughs> <laughs> You're asleep again. It's better this way. <laughs> oh. yeah. I'm just going to uh, drop him back down. <laughs> the four of them do appear again, however. Fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I've never had more fun with a CR4 crit, CR quarter creature. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Got so many little needles in me. <laughs> Go back through your the portal! Two, the two little methods are going to try and claw at uh, Ayla. Okay. If I die to these things, uh, I'll A 20 and a 21. They'll both hit. Okay. So you're going to take... Do, 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 do. Three, five points of damage. Three, oh, half the three, so you take one. So take three damage, each one. So six total. Oh. <laughs> uh, Lucius, <Wow>. you're asleep. <laughs> um, oh, Princess Persephone oh, will... No. Go back through the pool! Um, um, they can't! They tried. They're trapped. We're going to have to smush them against it at this point. <laughs> Go! Oh, <laughs> no! You rub the fingers yeah. together. <laughs> yeah, you could do that. Do you want to try that? No. You I should. I'm going to sleep. Um, I'll try. Nova, <laughs> can you make no. a intelligence saving throw? Oh. Not my intelligence. You're good at that. <laughs> Ten? Ten. What? Oh, here we what go. What does she make you afraid? I've been saying nice things so far, like be nice to them. Yeah, but you woke up the sleeping one. Because he's um, So you watch as Lucius's form oh, no. warps into this hideous, disfigured, oh, terrifying zombie that lurches up trying to grab you. Rest with me! And it's like reaching for your thing and you are terrified of this thing. Um, <laughs> Lucius, you prick! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for, yeah. You, Lucius becomes a zombie trying to kill you. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> I only slapped you oh. to wake you up! And you take four psychic damage. 
Do I run away anywhere? Or? Um, you, you, as far as you you perceive Lucius as as a threat and a hazard, so you you are not frightened, but you probably want to avoid him. So I'll no longer slap. Because he, he reaches up, and when you take the four psychic damage, he actually reaches up and like slaps, like rakes claws against your face. You're like, ah, ah! You know, terrified, pulling away. Wouldn't that like make me slap him more? <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, the big mushroom thing, very slowly. Torman, no! No, he reaches Torman. <laughs> no, no! Makes two, he punches Torman twice. Oh no. One oh. of them, even though Torman is dazed and confused, he still manages to kind of leap out the way. <laughs> but the second one just punches Torman right in the face and his neck snaps. Oh! Just, oh! He watches like all these mushrooms begin to grow over his face as he falls down. Oh, this God. Thing is just like, person we need to resurrect right now. Yeah. Add him to the car. He's top of the list, easily. Give him the star fragment. Like, do it. Torment. Yeah. Torment. Piri. Okay, I'm gonna slog through. Oh, let me just kill Torment. <laughs> yeah. Aww. So 40 feet, of which I can make 20 in this slog. One, two, three, four. Uh, and I guess like. <laughs> You could, but you, you could, could keep point. That bridge, oh, actually, you could keep point to dash. 10, 15, 20. Oh, actually, I'm gonna uh, use my sun bolts. So exactly what I was doing last time. So the bolts of fire are now shooting out 30 yeah, feet. Yeah. So you watch Dragon Ball Z style as Piri starts <laughs> launching my like, energy blasts out and of his hands. Again, I'm gonna key point and flurry and flurry. And uh, while I'm doing that, I'm four, like four attacks against the big mushroom man. It's against the big mushroom man because. I mean, these things, I can just kick them. Do you know the mushroom? Uh, Do you know the, the mushroom, mushroom man? man? The oh, mushroom man. Natural one, 10, so 15, 24, 19. All of them except the natural one hit. Nice. And you're doing uh, fire. fire damage, not bludgeoning, which is important. Uh, six, nine. Uh, th oh, wait, plus three on all of these. I should have done more damage before. Well, you didn't. Whoopsie. Nine. Six, 15, seven, 22. 22 damage. 22 nice. points of damage. Wham! All these like fiery blasts erupt from Piri's hands as he throws like these kind of punches and blasts towards it. And you watch as the flame begins burning away, but this thing is covered in so much fungal growth, it kind of staggers back, but it's still standing. Princess, we're on your side, clearly! You have brought us here! You have captured us! We're not working you with the unseelie! You fae! Protect me! <laughs> um, you can, I mean, you made an attack. Yeah, you made an attack. So if you want to really focus on diplomacy, that's an action to do. Oh, uh, okay. I was just yeah. like, while I was zipping. Uh, Araya. Um, I'm going to use the shield again and cast Sanctuary on Lucius. <laughs> okay, yeah, nice. Like so uh, that'd be DC 13, I think. Yeah. And then I'm going to use it again to do uh, Guiding Bolt again. Uh, you can I'll only cast go, you can cast each spell can once cast, per day. I can cast it at will. It, that's Does just it an error in D and D Beyond. Uh, it's once okay. per day on the item description. Uh, Sorry. Okay. Uh, no worries. I'm sure you like ten minutes. Or am I thinking the wrong one? Not to cast. It's like um, no, you, it's not that one. Okay. Sanctuary is like it protects somebody. Like they have to make wisdom saving throws to attack them. Okay. And then I'm, I'll just I'll. <laughs> I'll smack them along. So you want to step up? Rapier. Yeah, just please. Okay. So Orion steps in. Smack him in. 19 to hit. 19 hits. Nice. Yeah, the rapier pierces into the creature's flesh. Uh, roll your damage for me. D8 plus 4. That is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then sneak attack for another D6. You don't, do you get a sneak attack? Uh, no, you don't have here. another ally near it, unfortunately. No. You didn't. <laughs> um, as you strike it, which you pierce through into its creature, and you kind of hear it like <laughs> react in pain. But as you pull the rapier free, a cloud of spores erupts oh. in your face. Can you make a constitution saving throw? Oh, please? okay. Oh, no, that's a seven. Uh, you are now poisoned. You have disadvantage on attacks and ability checks, I believe. Okie dokie. Um, yeah. Disadvantage on attack rolls and everything else. Uh, so that is your go. Portal. No. So Ayla, you watch as around the mushroom portal, um, this kind of spreading growth of mushrooms begins to crawl out, sticking to the stone bridge and the rotted kind of marshland underneath, and these thick 
alien-like mushrooms begin to grow and they're emitting some sort of poisonous cloud. You're just out of reach of it for now, but anybody close enough to it, it would begin to choke them. Um, do, do, do. No more portals begin to spawn, however. Oh. Ayla. That's, that's all of us now, at least. Fireman, if this has something to do with that thing that you had on your wrist, I advise that you find it immediately. I'm looking! And I will... Smack, smack. Smack, smack. So you can do one attack each, or... Um, you can make one attack and then decide where the other can attack Can I do is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Um, I'm getting reckless. Uh, 14, 15, 16, 21. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Um, so roll damage for this one first, because you might destroy one of these things. Because you double it. Five. Oh, uh, so 10. 16. Yeah, so that destroys one of them as you shatter it into a million pieces. A million? And yep. You literally count more. Oh, okay. <laughs> a million pieces. Five, <laughs> That's only a 12 to hit. That one hit. 12 to hit. I forgot I had uh, Oh no, 12 hits these things. Oh, does it? Yep. Oh, okay. It's these um, ones. So. I forgot I had advantage against uh, you last turn. One, before. Uh, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven. Eight doubled to 16. 16. So Plus that one. dexterity. So oh, yeah. Same through. So uh, two. Five lightning damage. Oh, just oh. enough to kill it. Oh. Just enough. There it is. And I will it. smash. Two, four. So that up. was 30. Oh, yeah, because of the sludge. Yeah. Yeah, I'll move like here. Okay. Yeah. So you move up to that. Uh, Nova. So I don't need to run away from zombie Lucius? You don't have to, but yeah. you, as you, you think Nova believes it to be a threat. So I'm not going to slap him again. Uh, Lucius is a zombie! He's a zombie! Um, but I'm also going to fire... Uh... <laughs> Excellent role playing. <laughs> okay. Um, the, but can I also Eldritch Blast the mushroom portal? The portal? Yes, absolutely, yeah. With Make two sure attacks. Yep. beams? One. <laughs> one is a five, one is four, plus seven, so... Yeah, you hit on both. If they're both above 11, ten, you hit. Eleven, you hit. Then, yes. Yeah, they're both yep, above you ten. You hit both. Bam. Thank God for Lucky. static targets. Cool. <laughs> uh, one's a six and one's a four, so ten damage. Ten points. So you watch as about half the portal shrinks in size, um, but it still has some power to it, it seems. He's a zombie! <laughs> <laughs> mm. That was Nova. Tiny sprites now will look towards and spread out. Time to go home. We've told them that. They can't go home. Go home more. They're going to try and shoot Perry. Sure. They don't have advantage this time. Uh, so does a 23 hit? Yes. Does a 24 hit? <laughs> These yeah. guys are like crazy rolls, man. I'm rolling 17s and 18s. 16? Just. Uh, 22. Yeah. Oh <laughs> four damage, four constitution saving well, throws. the first please. one, I'm going to reflect back at them. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, you can use your reaction! Uh, it's a key point to do it, isn't it? It's a key it? point to do it. You roll a d10, I, I think, that. plus your monk level and dex mod. Uh, it's your d damage reduced by 1d10 plus 3 plus So five. it's automatically redirected because they yeah. do one damage and you yeah. roll one on the thing. Yeah. So what you just, but you catch it. Do you spend a key point to throw it back? Oh, is it a key yeah, point? Yeah, yeah, yeah so you can do it normally. It doesn't cost a key point to deflect it, but it's a key point if you want to throw it back. Oh, I'll just deflect then. Okay, you just deflect <laughs> it. Yeah. So the first one, you're like, ha! And then the, ah! Oh! <laughs> like to, to catch you in the so tree. So I need to make, what, three? Two, two now. I thought they got four Oh no, yeah, it was four, yeah, four. it was so three, three, so three constitution saving throws. Uh, constitution, uh, so lowest is 11. Lowest is 11, so you're poisoned and you're feeling like drugged and sleepy, oh, but you're not okay. unconscious. Not not a bad guy. You're like, you, you guys. <laughs> I'm a great guy. Are monks resistant to stuff? Uh, I don't think Poison? so. Poison? might have just been juice. I think that's a high level thing. It doesn't say my resistance. That's, that's a high level thing. Saves. And you also were no, um, I didn't say. resistant to fire because of teeth. Uh, Lucius, you're asleep. Thanks. Thank you. Just have great to combat. <laughs> I'm having a great time. So, so, <laughs> like, it's not my <laughs> fault. Um, so, Oriya and Ayla, as you stand Hello. around the large cool. mushroom man, cool, cool. Um, he kind of roars and shakes his body and a burst of spores erupts in about a 10 foot radius around him. Can you both make constitution saving throws, please? Oh, oh it's a natural one. 
Jesus, you're a barbarian. Well, <laughs> that doesn't help me roll you're dice. You're supposed to be mode. good at these. Uh, Araya, yeah. you pass. You managed so to like throw seven. her hand over your mouth. You, <laughs> Ayla, you suck in a breath of these spores, oh, oh um, and you suddenly, you immediately feel sickened by them. Um, you are, yeah. As far as you're infected, can you roll D hundred? Do you want me to roll it, or do you want to roll a D hundred uh, percentile dice? Okay, I'll do it. Uh, what's this gonna do to her? She's gonna turn into an actual zombie. Does Mushroom Man have any metal on him? Metal? <laughs> no, probably okay. not. Like a right. fork in him or something. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you at, at the break. What? Um, uh oh. You now so have you just, you're like, <coughs> If this is a permanent thing, I'm gonna be so angry. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, That's its go. So it goes to Piri. Okay, I'll um, continue making my way up. Uh, this time, though, I'm going to use an action to do, uh, what's it called, produce flame. Yeah. So I've got like a ball of flame in my hand. I'm going to right up to him, and I'm going to bonus action hit him uh, with just an arm strike, as normal. Uh, hang on. You're casting produce flame. Produce flame is an action. That's an action. Yeah. You can't flurry, you can't use martial arts if you don't make an attack action. Oh, fine, in that case, when I produce a flame, I can also use it to attack. Right, but that's not taking the attack action. You're casting a spell. Yeah, but it says on the spell that I can, at I, the same time as casting. I know you can. You can make the attack. You just can't flurry afterwards. I'm not flurrying. It's just okay, an unarmed That's strike. fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh no, not even like you can't yeah. do a bonus action attack. Like oh. to do the martial arts thing, you have to take the attack action. If a uh, spell no. lets you make an attack, it doesn't work the same way. Oh, I thought the unarmed strike was just a bonus action. No, I it's part of the attack action. Okay, it's fine. confusing. We, I remember me and Kim having long conversations. Oh yes. This is how it works because okay. it's confusing. Oh, so hmm, can I, can I use stunning strike? Not on a produced flame. No, you gotta hit the thing. Fuck it. So you're just attacking it. Eighteen plus five. What are you doing? <laughs> are you produced flaming produce or are you attacking? Flaming. Right, Ball okay. of flame, right. put it in his mouth. 18 hits. <laughs> um, 2d8. 1, 7, 8 damage. 8 points of damage. I regret that. You watch as it's beginning to burn away and some of the clouds and spores uh, are ignited, but it's still standing on its feet, rocking Aww. two and four. Um, just barely alive. Araya. Um. Oh, I'm just going for what spells I've got left. Um, the greatest oh, spell of all. The greatest spell of Melee all. Melee weapon attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast Zephyr Strike. Oh, here we go. Ooh. This sounds tasty. Um, I love this one. And that gives me an extra 1d8 of force attack on a weapon hit. Mm -hmm. So and it's I'm a bonus action to cast, so you can attack action, yeah. as well. So I'm going to attack with my rapier again. Mm -hmm. And you have allies, so if you hit, you'll get sneak attack this time. Yeah. Oh, uh, Add it up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Not enough, just under. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get advantage with Zephyr Strike? Good question. <laughs> I think Zephyr Strike gives you like 20 different things. Yeah. It's insane. Uh, it gives, don't, my movements are provoked to opportunity attacks. I give myself advantage on one weapon attack during a roll on my turn. <laughs> That's a f 17. Hits. Hey! Yeah! Okay. So make sure. So just D8. Does. Plus four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then another D8. It's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. D6 for sneak attack. Another D6, D19. 19. You reach up and you sense like a weak point in its structure where this kind of mush, where uh, Piri's burnt it away, you can see the actual creature underneath. You strike him with a rapier, hitting it in what you think it's to be its heart, and you just watch as the whole creature. <laughs> Nice. Forwards? Okay, good. <laughs> it fell backwards. <laughs> yeah, she Whoa. pushes on it. You watch as it Whoa, wife, like, backwards. <laughs> that way. Um, yeah, and you topple the uh, the mushroom creature Sweet. to the ground. Um, you watch as the the area of mushrooms and the regrowth around the other mm. portal begins to grow wider and wider, oh. nearly reaching to where you are. Where the ice was, is that still there? Or is that no, uh, the, the ice, it's still frozen, mm. but it's not becoming more frozen. Okay. Um, Ayla. Ugh, there's nothing to hit now. There's, um, there's loads of things to hit. There's five little imp boys. Where are they? Yeah. <laughs> they have defeated the other foes! Quickly, subdue them! <laughs> are they still trying to kill us? I mean, yeah, they, they, they think okay. that they've been kidnapped or something. They're, they're fighting. Get them, though. <laughs> you can go through us. Just go look threatening. Go flex at them. 
Watch out for the zombie! Uh, <laughs> Uh, I think this is as far as I can get. Um, so pretty much right up in their face. Look, we're not trying to kill you. We don't know where you came from. We want you to go home, please. We didn't kidnap you. We cannot leave. The portal has been sealed. You have sealed it. Trepidous. I haven't sealed anything. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> please okay. stop uh, putting my friends to sleep. Okay, that's your turn. Uh, Nova. Lucius is a zombie! Why is no one listening to me? Eldritch Blast the portal. <laughs> <laughs> Mushroom portal? Yeah. Uh, they're both over 10. Yep, they both hit. Big damage. Big yeah. damage. Do it. <laughs> Double tens. No. Eight. <laughs> Just, wow, so close. You can watch, it's on the field of about to collapse but it's still there and just enough energy is seeping through for this fungal growth to expand. As it begins reaching the creature, the creature's wounds start healing. Oh, oh, uh, 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 do I technically heal from it dying if it's uh, sort of regening right now? Because I put Hexblade Curse on it. Oh yeah, you would have healed, so, yeah. yeah. If you put Hexblade Curse, when Araya killed it, you would have gained that back. That's nice. Um, hmm. The Fae will, the sprites will, as you are trying to talk to them, they will gather around their Princess. Yeah. I'm kind of imagining. And they kind of a tiny, form up. A tiny princess bowsette. <laughs> yeah, a little tiny little bowsette, yeah. Sure. <laughs> but with a flower crown. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I love it. Um, and you watch as they seal up and they're like, Be warned! We will not suffer any attacks against the princess if you come closer. We shall kill you. Send us free! Mm, after that, <laughs> uh, Lucius is asleep. That's Nobody's hungry. woken him up. <laughs> I feel bad for Trot. It doesn't count. Uh, the the princess, Princess Persephone, uh, will. If you truly mean what you say, then you you should help us send us home. Please tell me. Otherwise, I shall have my royal guards subdue you. Where is your home? Also, she I would like to see back through the portal. How do, do I open that? We do not know. It is your strange magic that has brought us here. Harry, uh, talk to the fireman. <laughs> I don't know what did it. Uh, okay. Uh, Perry. Uh, I'm gonna jump down. There's still a portal here. Into where I fell last time, and I'm gonna go scrambling around. Yeah, make me. an investigate check. Uh, no, six. Big piles of mud. You, what's that? It's a rock. Oh. <laughs> you throw it away. <laughs> yeah, you're scrambling around. You, you've still got the remnants of some of the tech, but the, the sphere, I mean, it broke into dozens of pieces. Yeah. Um, but you're scrambling around and you, you can't find any trace of them. Um, there is still some magic there. You're not quite sure how much, however. Okay. Oh, I thought, uh, okay, fine. Um, I'm still just scrambling around looking for it. Yeah. At, the, out, mo at the, the moment, it will do what we agreed that the item does. Yes. So Which is? Okay. Nothing yet. Um, all right, so you spend your turn doing that. Resurrect. Araya. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's a resurrect man. I'm gonna go and wake Lucius up. <laughs> Watch out, he's a zombie! So, you, so Nova, as far as you're concerned, like Araya's patting down and this zombie Lucius is just savaging. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, he's trying to eat you! Uh, okay, Lucius, okay. you wake up. <laughs> 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 Do I still see him as a zombie? Yeah, you like, do, yeah, yeah. Um, that's made it worse! <laughs> <laughs> Ayla, it would be your go. You spend uh, the turn just, suddenly you just stare off into the distance. Uh, and okay, your cool. consciousness just, you just, your focus and your um, thing just evaporates. Uh, Nova. Why have you set him free? What is going on? He's a zombie! I'm gonna blast the portal again. Okay. Over 10. <laughs> On both. On both. Uh, you're going to do enough damage. It has like two HP left. So this portal Twelve. is closed. Yay. Um, as the mushroom. And as it does, you watch as the fungal growth stops spreading and the creature's wounds stop healing and it just. Oh, uh, okay. And it actually begins to decompose very rapidly, Ew. just like turning into mulch. Just. Oh, God. Now I'm picking away. up like worms and stuff. Mm -hmm. and mushroom and rock. Um, hey, Lucius. I'm gonna blast the fuck out of all of them. They're all dead. Sure. Oh, do it. No, no. <laughs> Please, do it. go ahead. Snowball, snowball, silly at swarm. Yep. 
Don't know, <laughs> snowball swarm. And then that hits like a radius, right? So that would literally hit all of oh them. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yep, and the portal. Uh, what do I do? Uh, so it is a I knew, dexterity I knew he was going to do it. Dexterity, dexterity save, save from all of them, yeah? Freeze! Princess Persephone. <laughs> Princess Persephone, what's your DC? Uh, it is a 14. <laughs> 13. <laughs> I knew it was. I was like, I'm going to check this. Uh, the sprite bodyguards, uh, one is a 16. What killed the face? One is a 20-something. The ice what? Edge. One is a 8. <laughs> And then, so yeah, three yeah. of them, so three of the guards pass, one fails, the princess fails, the portal automatically fails, so roll the damage. Oh boy. Here we go. You also, you'll get dichromancy from this as well. Use my tray. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Oh my god. That's <laughs> oh, mega wow. low damage. Oh my god. Oh, oh it my doesn't god. matter. Four. Four damage. Um, to every, all, he kills all of them. They have two hit points. Um, oh all of god. them die. <laughs> Uh, even, the watch, that... yep, even the ones that are saved, because they, they oh, take yeah. half damage. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so they take two. So, what are the uh, point of saves? You're like, <laughs> and you watch as just this frozen sphere just. They're like, no, my princess! <laughs> they become frozen and just smash into a thousand pieces as they hit the ground. The portal also begins to slightly shrink from the damage. The one thing you notice is the flower crown on the princess's head comes off and is perfectly fine. Oh. And it actually begins to grow in size. Uh oh. Oh. Um, uh -oh. <laughs> no. that at this point, <laughs> there is now no other combat, so you guys can just blast the portal until it closes. What, what am I still seeing Lucius as? Uh, no, Lucius. as soon as she dies, it reverts back. And you see him as normal. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello. You are a zombie. Um, what? Well, we're going to take our break here. But before we go on break, Oh, There's something I have to do oh, because... Here we go, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Hang on, where's my notes? I have to remind myself of my script. Skip time! <laughs> um, script? Do we have a script? No. Oh. Uh, where did I put it? Do you have a flower crown now? Oh, I didn't write I it down. I I'll put it in the email. I want be princess. But I can tell you that in the vaults of Erois... What? Oh. I've discovered a secret. No. A scroll of protection. <laughs> <laughs> With it, it reveals the ancient secrets of warding magic. Does it? The power of NordVPN. Oh, wow. With NordVPN, wow. you can protect your data online. Wow. It also protects your identity from things such as DDoS attacks. Also included in this powerful <laughs> spell is the secrets to bypassing Barriers and wards that keep you from country gated content online, <laughs> no. such as Netflix and other services. With it, you can access anywhere in the world's content. It's, I'm sold. It's too oh powerful. My God. No! You would think that only a master wizard could use such magic, oh. but it's not true. Or even the lowliest apprentice can use the power of NordVPN. <laughs> Simply oh. by going to nordvpn.com forward slash HRDND and using code HRDND to get 75% off a three year plan and an extra month free. <laughs> Behold, Behold! The power oh. of NordVPN! Oh. Oh and with God. that, we're going to take a break. See you in five. Thanks, See everybody. You later. <laughs>
Hello, welcome back to Heroes, <laughs> mm. the comedy palate cleansing episode uh, where mm. the party have just fended off several portal invasions from other realms or worlds, we're not quite sure, as a mysterious fire ganassi, which Tom is playing as his temporary character, appears um, as the party decide what to do in order to bring back Sentry and Quillic and Kalar. Um, you are currently stood in Stenhill, uh, having faced off against these portals. <laughs> it becomes apparent that there were more of these portals elsewhere in the village, but the locals were dealing with them and yeah. you were kind of dealing with the, the you know, oh, nearby okay. cluster. Um, yeah, and you jump back in. Uh, all of the dead, the pixie princess and her sprite royal guard are dead on the ground. Shattered. These kind of melted, frosty remnants. Uh, but the the flower crown sits on top of the bog lands. Elo, can you pass that crown to me? I'm not getting in that boggy. I'm so no. Mila. Well, yeah, just Ayla just is staring off into the yeah, distance. You can all hear. Yeah, it. zombie. You're not. I'm not. Oh a wait, zombie. no, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie speaks. I think there's something wrong with Ayla. Uh, Which one's Ayla? Is that that one? Yes. Also, we're not done with you. What? I I mean, look, I, I helped Why you Why did you guys. open all these portals? I didn't open any you of these. Let me know when I, I mean, one of them I opened. The thing like, on your list, oh, it, yeah, it yeah, made, yeah. A, made the just portals. Like it did a thing, and then... Just basically, you zone mm. out, and then you, you come back in as if sure. nothing, you, like, unaware that you've zoned out. Can I get a mage hand to, like, poke Ayla? Just, yeah. just like, yeah. Ayla? Hmm? Oh, can you also pick that up? And I'm gonna immediately just see the bodies and be Wait. like, "Wait, what? What?" I mean, they're all frozen. <laughs> yeah, but the last yeah. thing I remember is saying, "We're not gonna <laughs> hurt you." We're not gonna hurt you. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I'll mage hand up the crown and float it in front of you. Could you? Um... It's right in front of you. <laughs> Go on, just like a princess would be crowned. I knight the. Sir oh Princess God. of Princess it's Land, fair. and then I drop the crown on your head. As it hits your head, Lucius. <laughs> Can you add an item to your inventory, please? <gasps> oh no. Uh, search for Flower Crown of the Fairy Princess, and it is a custom magic item. God. Oh God. Let me describe what happens for the rest of you. Like what oh, you see. No. What you see happen. <laughs> so, as the crown hits Lucius's head, it fits perfectly. It shrinks and adjusts its size to rest around his blonde hair perfectly. Um, and you watch as his form changes ever so slightly. Not hugely, but there are some very quick, sudden changes. His ears, already pointed and elongated, grow even longer Ooh. and wider. Oh. His hair, there is almost like pastel streaks in it now. <laughs> oh. His skin, Sorry, his what? skin turns glittery. Oh. Um, like, as in it has like a glittery God. sheen to it. And a pair of fairy wings erupt from his back. <laughs> they rip through parts of his clothing and these giant fairy wings, like Titania, Queen of the Fairies style wings. Oh my God, that's the best thing ever. Lucius, um, there is also information on the item you should read. Note the it. cursed item section. Is it oh. yours? Oh, oh, it's yeah, cursed it. Um. You should also note that your voice becomes a slightly higher pitch and tone. <laughs> <laughs> My charisma's now 19. Your charisma is now 19, oh, wow. so the, the you attune automatically to it. So make sure you're attuned to it. If you are already attuned to three items, you must lose one. No, it's okay. I've got um, So the, benefit, the beneficial um, abilities, which you gain knowledge of, your charisma automatically becomes 19 while you wear the crown. You have advantage on any charisma checks, uh, a charisma ability check when interacting with any non-elven fey. So creatures like pixies, sprites, satyrs, dryads, etc. You can use an action to cast one of the following spells: entangle, invisibility, or polymorph. Once you once you cast one spell, it can't be used again until the next dawn. Charisma is your spell casting ability for those. Oh my, oh my god! The fairy <laughs> wings grant you a flying speed equal to your walking speed. <laughs> oh my god! You can fly wow. up to a number of hours equal to your Constitution mod score modifier per day. So if your con score is uh, con modifier is one, you can fly for up to an hour a day using the wings. Oh my um, god! But you are you cannot remove the crown whilst you wear it, and you the the physical effects are permanent as long as you wear the crown. I can't take it off. <laughs> And you want this physical transformation, like his is like Lucius looks like a kind of pixie princessy kind of vibe now. Like his hair also grows longer, um, and it becomes more that. curly and luxurious. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> 
I feel a little it, different. It only has to be a little higher. You, if you can't keep that up, adjust it to probably what you can do. Keep this up. Very well, there you <laughs> this go. This is Chris Trot, our peer supreme. <laughs> um, and that is the flower crown of the fairy princess. A near legendary item, a very rare cursed item. Cursed. And, oh, go on. No, I can't even watch those videos. Where did this come from? <laughs> Did you randomize? Just came up, came up with it. I thought that'd be funny if I put that on the fairy. Because I didn't know if you'd kill them or not. I was like, it was only going to drop if you killed them. And I was like, whoever puts this on, the first person to put this on, this, this, this happened. <laughs> um, I, oh did, I was amused at almost any of you putting this on would have been quite funny, really. But it's even better that it's Lucius. Um, I actually oh. think it, it kind of works for Lucius. Yeah, I think yeah, it suits yeah. him. Honestly, Beautiful there's princess. not that much for change here. No. Do you guys just put every magic item you find on? Because, like, that that's a bad idea. Do Pickle. you just randomly fall out of portals and then summon more portals that attack us? Yeah. Okay, first one, yes. Second one, no. No, that's definitely not going to happen. What about the third and the fourth? The third and the fourth? What, what do you mean? We just, there were three portals. Oh, no, I mean, to your points. Uh, yes, I sometimes fall out of portals. Uh, no, more portals don't, aren't meant to appear. I'm meant to appear with other people, actually. Um, but apparently, this thing... Doesn't work now. Look. Yes. What is it? Uh, so when he when he taps it, you shunt thirty feet forward. Whoa! Like, <laughs> you watch as like a small portal opens. He's sucked in and he appears thirty feet down down the bridge. Can you not make any more portals? No, no. Just just for now. Okay. And okay. He, and then the, the watch dims in power. Ah, uh, craps. Can I see that thing? I uh, sludge thirty feet back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Here. So uh, that's um, bust. By the way. It's not gonna look like that. At all. Can I do a check? Torman! And a woman comes rushing over. Oh, oh, my beloved Torman! Oh. She reaches down, like <laughs> crying. He died a hero. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks up, almost in fear for a second, and then confusion, and then sat like you can just watch this complex mix of emotions overcomes him. Um, I, th thank you, I guess. Oh, my tall man, you're so brave. Uh, yikes. Um, hey, Lucius, can you fly? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> I've got wings! I'm gonna try and take the crown off first. <laughs> it won't come off. Oh no. I guess I, guess I, I could try while I have this on. Am I gonna try flying? Um, it's clumsy. It's going to take you a little while to figure <laughs> it out, but yeah, I mean, yeah, you can lift yourself off the ground and like oh these little wings. <laughs> um, <laughs> How long do we have to deal with this? Forever. You said it never comes off, right? We could. Could know. someone else take it off though? I, I imagine we'd have to kill him to get our mage hand it back off again. I mean, he tried pulling it off just then. It didn't work. No, he tried to pull it off, but he can't take it off. Can I, can I try a mage hand it off? Uh, oh, move. interesting. Won't move. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, none of you really have any experience with, yeah, like... Oh, magic fucking magic. hell, my flaws. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's what I needed you to read. Also note the one when you sneeze or cough as well. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, we'll see these later, I guess. Um... Yeah, can I, can I take a look at his watch and do some sort of check? To sure, make an um, make intelligence investigation check. Investigation. Or Arcana, whichever is higher for you. Oh, plus seven Arcana. Yeah. Whoa. I think that this is magic tech. This is in Nova's wheelhouse. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Oh, yeah. Big, big roll. Uh, yes. Allow me to get my pen. So, looking at this device, there is... You realise that whilst initially you might have thought this was um, Court of Shadows tech, it's because it, it, it has the same high level of magical ability. Um, it's made from similar construction materials, but it's not like anything else you've seen. In fact, this bears more of a resemblance to some of the writings you read about from your teacher uh -oh. um, about planar travel. Oh! This appears to be a device built that allows for very short range or well long range teleportation but is experimental with planar teleportation as well this is some sort of device that allows a user to potentially potentially travel the planes but it looks more suited to teleportation um similar to teleportation circles the ring that was around it it almost looks like it has set runes that 
is very similar to how a teleportation circle works. Okay. Um, it is, there is clearly Ganassi influence. Ganassi influence? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This would have been from the days when they were experimenting with Vortensar and Jasavir and, and figuring out how to go back. See, so bust, it's not working. Well, I mean... Oh, and yeah, by the way, just as a note uh, for Nova, you have no idea how to repair this. This is not just like a mending spell repair. But I've this sort of... You know how it works and it, stuff. Like, yeah. You just, you're like, you couldn't fix this. Like, it would take you a long time of research to do. Do you know what this is? Yeah, it's the thing that gets me to but places. You know how, right? Yeah. I use it, I say go, or someone says go, and then... But do you know the process, what it's using to teleport you? Who gave this to you? Uh, no one. Found it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I mean, at this point you disbelieve him or believe him based on what Tom says. I, I just found it, okay? So, uh, it just takes me to places I need to go. You said you're from Vortensar, right? Yeah, a long time ago. Are you, are you, a, and I'm, I'm gonna pull him close and like, whisper. Are you a member of the Seekers? The Seekers? <laughs> no. What's a seeker? <laughs> Would I know the seekers? Seekers? No. No? What's the password? Pumpkin pie. Wrong. How do you have this? What? I'm not a part of seekers. I get like it. it uh, okay, wait, hey, wait. Are you, are you the. This group, are you the leader? Uh, no, maybe. We don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You must have a leader. Hey, it's gotta be this one, right? The big one with the hammer? Uh, we were discussing it. We lost our leader. Huh? Yeah. They passed! <laughs> <laughs> I have so much immediate regret, it's unreal. <laughs> uh, well, geez, I'm sorry, but uh, uh, can I talk to you guys like in private or something? Everyone else around us is dead. <clears throat> the temple door opens and Scaldi kind of emerges like, I don't know what was going on, but I've completed the ritual on the others. Um, are you all alright? I heard fighting, I heard sounds or something. Oh, Lucius, what has happened? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, recently, what hasn't happened? It's just like the cherry on top of a very, I want very cherry, bad I love time. cherries! Please don't enjoy things, it makes it even harder to deal with that voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because I know what Trot's doing. Um, uh, Scaldi just looks over, are any of you injured beyond any strange magical transformations? Uh, I mean, uh... Who are you? Oh, hey! Uh, I kind of fell in here, um, but this he, guy... He passed it, it was his fault. It's not my fault, it's not my fault. You can, she, Scaldi looks around and, and now... I mean, you're seeing that there's people gather around, like Torman's wife is like crying and sobbing, but there are people beginning to gather and they're asking questions like, what happened, blah, blah, blah. Uh, shall we just go into the temple for a bit? Yeah, uh, I think we should. The yeah. temple? Quite... You should step inside at least. If this one's involved in what's going on, then things could get ugly. Quickly. Involuntarily. Step, come inside. Okay. Lucius, come in. You need to get out of here. I'm flying. <laughs> I'm going to fly. Yeah, and you're it's getting gonna... slightly better at it. It's going to take you a bit of time, but you can at least How like... How big are these control... wings? Damn, I mean, they're big fairy wings. Like, cause it'd be big on a, on a pixie, so on a, on a medium-sized creature, like, you can't hide them. Like, they're, and like, their clothing on your back is ripped where they've kind of burst free. Like, they're big butterfly fairy wings. Here I come. <laughs> <laughs> Float along. And I have the feeling that you're going to like just have serious talks with Mark after this episode. You were asleep for the whole combat and there. <laughs> well, I, he put the crown on. I'm I didn't make it. him do that. I'm going with it. I can't. The whole campaign. Sure. Do what you want. Until Lucius dies. <laughs> I can't. Oh, the rate that we're dropping that might Someone else put the crown on. <laughs> yeah. The cycle yeah. continues. Yeah. I can't Who will wait be to next see the to wear the crown? Art. I want Ayla to wear the crown. <laughs> Fairy <laughs> Princess Ayla so would be amazing. <laughs> With a big oh my hammer, God. like flying in. <laughs> <laughs> I fairy. want it now so that I can fly in, it, well, fly in with a hammer. <laughs> Just smash him. Um, it. Yeah, you step inside the temple, the atmosphere obviously changes, and you can hear murmurings and things going on outside as people are obviously recovering injured. You know, people who are injured in the fighting, dealing with, uh, it sounds like there's a fire somewhere. Probably in the direction of the, the inn, Veskin's inn. Also not my fault. That fire wasn't my fault either. I wasn't anywhere near it. 
I will let you speak with this fire, Granassi. Um, when you are ready to leave, we will need something to transport Quill and Sentry on. We'll need some sort of wagon or something like that. Um, there may be some travelers or merchants in town, but it's something you should consider, if, depending on where you wish to go. Uh, if you need any more information, obviously I'm happy to, to speak. If you'd like to speak with Quill, um, I can perform the same ritual I did for Sentry as well. Um, just let me know. Maybe we but, can find out what his favorite color was. Oh yes, I hope, hope we find out. It's probably red. I love all colors. I will leave you to figure out what is happening with the fire ganassi. I'm going to go prepare a few things for travel. Wait, you're not with these guys? I am now, for the time being. I owe them. Um, I'm going to prepare my traveling equipment. I'll be ready to leave when you are. Thank you. Are you guys are leaving? Yep. Such a pleasant little town. You're not from here? No, does it look like I'm from here? Not you, no. You kinda. Uh, you definitely, you almost definitely not. Uh, wait, so wait, why are you leaving? Is it because we just destroyed the place and put like mushrooms and stuff and, and, and kind of like flowers? We gave them a nice garden at least. Do you see those two bodies over there? Uh, whoa, boy. Hey, all right, okay, look. Uh, I don't want to be one of them, all right? That wasn't where I was going with that, but sure, we'll go with it. No, come on. I'm a good guy. We're trying to bring these guys back. Oh. So we can't stay here to do it. Right. Okay, uh, so, I mean, uh, what do you want to know? Where are you going? Why are, where were you trying to go? Why are you here? Okay, look, so, hey, um, firstly, I got your name, Lucius. A big butterfly you guy. You get my full name, though. Uh, which is? Lucius Virian Elowin Elenasto. Lucius Elenasto. You're probably a princess now. <gasps> oh, yes, I probably am. Painted princess. Okay. Right. Mm. Uh, I think I heard yours, Ayla. Mm-hmm. Ah? Uh? I'm Araya. Araya? Hi, I'm Nova. Nova Viger. Nova Viger. Viger. Hey, are you related to, um, uh, uh, what's her name? The, uh, the one who does, like, the climbing the mountain stuff. You mean Coral? Coral. Coral Viger, yeah! Hey, I'm a huge fan of your sister. <laughs> She's, <laughs> I mean, I, I could be a huge fan of you if, uh, you know, you don't kill me in this place yeah. and, 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 and assume that I was responsible for all the portals and stuff. Guess you probably know my brother as well, uh, Tornado. Tornado. Sky, sky, jouster. <laughs> sky jouster. Uh, uh, I'm more Wait. of a mountain guy. Not so right. it, that means you must have seen her do the battle, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I watched it a couple of times actually. She was great. When was that? I don't know. Like before I joined. Um, yeah. I, I saw her. You know. How many years ago? Um. Look. Okay. The thing is, we don't have anything to hide here. We're just trying to get these guys back. We've landed here, completely don't know where we're going. Now you have done the same. We can't be bothered at this stage to hide things, so just tell us what you're doing, and if you want to help us. Frankly, you've put an Ethereum bar in the Ethereum cage, so to speak. A spanner in the works. <laughs> oh, that's, the, that's what you're getting at. The in-law thing. Okay, look. I mean, aren't you meant to put Ethereum bars into Ethereum cages? Absolutely not. That will cause a major problem. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what my daddy does. <laughs> I think I think that the idea that Lucius is actually saying the complete opposite of what he thinks, the, the whole point is you put the yeah. Ethereum bar in the cage, and he's obviously just got it confused because he doesn't know. That makes more sense to me. <laughs> okay, so look, I'm part of a group of people who... Um, kind of go into places, pick up some stuff, and get right out of there. Like, thieves. No, 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 not thieves. Uh, reclaimers, I guess, or, or not really treasure hunters, though we kind of hunt treasure, but you know, we don't use it to sell for our own personal gain. Fancy so thieves. Hmm. I'll go with that, sure, yeah. I mean, I'm not- Sounds good to me. But, so I had a mission. We were gonna go to a place, me and my two teammates, but all of a sudden, Loud crack, 
whole lot of pain. It's not meant to hurt at all, like that jump and stuff, but this time, wow, wow, let me tell you, probably hurt more than the guy out there, right? Uh, who, I mean, probably not because he's dead, but, um, and then I landed here, and now I'm faced with you four and two bodies. So that's my there's story. There's five, there's Scaldi as well. Oh yeah, but you know, she's not in the room. So that's <laughs> me. <laughs> um, what were you going to reclaim before you bamfed? Before I bamfed? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's a technical term, but uh, I mean, I was just going to pick up some stuff. We were told to go to the... <laughs> <laughs> What's that device you have there? It's if that opens another portal, I swear to God, I am swinging this hammer in your face. It does. No, it's my phone. Um. <laughs> <laughs> For the podcast listeners, Tom pulled out his phone. Yeah. Uh, oh, this doesn't actually say what I was going to get. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Look, I was going to a place to just pick up some stuff for the, for the, for the people I work for. Who do you work for? Huh? You're scurrying around the question of who you work for and what group you're part of quite a lot. We need and it's making me even more suspicious as time's going on. Well, I mean, I told you a lot of stuff. How would you tell me a lot of stuff? What do you want to know? Do, who are you? We've told you. I've not got your names, but like, what? What? What's that face? Did you go to the Atlas Academy? Maybe. What? Wait, did you? Yeah! Oh, hey! Uh... How are you? Don't what look at me. You? you were that. You were that idiot How in the back I... of the class. No, that's that, no, that's not me. I was probably the really cool one in the class. Oh, you were always a weirdo. What? No, I wasn't. I'm speaking as a weirdo. Nova's calling you a weirdo, so that really that stings, dude. Yeah, that, that stings. Yeah, you missed a lot of classes, though. I mean. Wait a minute, were you the one in the front row who was always <laughs> taking like a million notes? As me, yeah. Oh, oh man, that. I never spoke to you because you were weird. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who wants to learn that much, really? I mean, but knowledge right. is power. That's all she does. Uh, yeah, but... And uh, I attended every class. And I had extra classes. Extra? Mm-hmm. Man, I barely even turned up to my regular ones. Anyway. 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 <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, you don't have to go that high with it. It's just, you know, you can... Anyway. But he will. I mean, That's probably better. If this guy went to my school, right? Like, okay, so he was a bit flaky. Probably got C's, didn't you? <laughs> less. <laughs> way, way less. Like I said, I didn't turn up. I didn't actually... Yeah, anyway. Um... I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's fine. I'm a good guy. Like, I helped you against the big mushroom thing. After you opened all the portals. I didn't open them. I didn't open them. I opened one, and that was one I mm. fell through. The others, that's not going to happen. You did face plan out that one real good. Look, Oriah makes sense. We need to know what purpose you serve here, how you can help us. If not, then we will depart from you because we have an important mission. Well, I mean... I can, I don't know where I am, like, at all. I've never so been. So you're not useful to us? No, I mean, not as a, not as like I a tracker. I don't mean to be rude, but honestly, we've been through a lot recently, and honestly, we don't need any more problems. I'm not a problem, I'm not a problem. Unless more portals open up around me, which they shouldn't, by the way. <laughs> they shouldn't do that. That's uh, a problem. How do you know they won't? I, I, do, I, I like how Tom looks to me for like some sort of rescue. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I mean, I don't. But you came through one, so you must know how they work. So how do you know they're not going to happen again? What if something worse comes through? You're I dangerous mean, to be around. If this is what caused it, my watch, then it's off. It's, that's not working. I mean, yeah, it, it does seem to be drained of power. And he doesn't seem to actually know how it works, but I think I kind of do. He came out of a portal. It's exactly the same as all the other portals that opened up at the same time. Oh, probably not exactly the same. But portals in general, it, you understand? Yeah, but... It's very, very convenient that they all happened at the same time when you appeared. I mean, it sounds to me like something went wrong because, well, for starters, I'm nowhere where I'm meant to be. Two, uh, I, I don't know where my other guys are, my friends, my teammates. Uh, three, I didn't think this far ahead, I just said three uh, before I had a third point. Would I know enough about planar magic to maybe explain like this 
whole, whole cluster. Yeah, I think I think with Nova's background and with the check you got on the watch, um, yes, I think that uh, you you probably think that what's happened is he was supposed to teleport somewhere. It something's gone wrong. Either the device broke or something interrupted the the spell or something like that. He ended up here, and by being here, it's distorted planar space around Stenhill, and that's what caused those portals, like those rips, to open. Um, they because they were unstable. Like when you were destroying them, you could tell that they just appeared random. Like there didn't seem to be any sense or logic to where they went. And they were other planets. They weren't places planets. on Eroes. They were mm. places, planes elsewhere. Um, and yeah, I mean, you, you don't get the impression this guy had a clue what yeah. was going on. I mean, he got D's. Yeah. Worse than D's. Yes. Well, I mean, I didn't actually get any grades. Oh! What are you, what are you planning to do now? I mean, hopefully make it out of this room alive. Can we agree on that at least? Oh, is Ayla, like, checked out again? Yep. So you, we, well, Ayla's just staring off into space again. Can we, uh... Uh... You guys, can we agree on it's that? It's almost like a great escape for Ayla. Of like, <laughs> ah, ah Role-playing! <laughs> <laughs> I am now a wall. We have no intention of hurting you. Or anybody, for that matter. Good. And we merely defend versa. ourselves. What? Uh, vice versa. What? Same. Oh. S samesies. Right. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't want to hurt you. I just want to get back, but I, I mean, I can't stay here. Is anyone in your crew someone with a, a long, elongated mask? Spooky robes. Oh, that'll be one of the, um, uh, the guys. Wait, how do you know them? I saw someone when your portal opened. What, like through the thing? Yeah. Huh. Ah, cool, I didn't know that happened. Weird. Because I've been doing some real nasty stuff in front of portals. <laughs> 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 I don't feel... <laughs> I don't understand why you have this. What this is, and I point at the watch, mm -hmm. is such a powerful piece of complicated magic. Yeah. And but... you just tap it and shake it around <laughs> and probably do the same to other parts of yourself in front of it. I uh, know, I mean... And you had no idea how it works. I, I, like I said, I'm part of a group of people that, 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 that do know how it works. And I just, I just press it, shwomp, or, or fwomp, or whatever you said it was. Bamf. Bamf. I bamf there. That's actually good. It sounds like that. So I bamf there, and then I just find the thing that I was told to get, bamf back. Ugh. Are you aware that you have a concentrated device of planar magic on your wrist? Oh, I mean, yeah, like uh, that's how I'm getting around, obviously. Are you aware of how dangerous and forbidden planar magic is? It's not forbidden, like we do it all the time. Like we just, we just bam thin. I know how it works. I'm in one place and I'm in another, right? But, it, I mean, it wasn't dangerous until suddenly shooting pains right up my arm, uh, and, and then I'm here. No, I'll let you make that conclusion on your own. Um, Scaldi emerges from the back He's room. He's done. That's my conclusion. No, no, no. Uh, Scaldi emerges from the back room. She's packed a bag, like a backpack. Um, she's provided a few vials and things like that. Uh, so, have you dealt with the problem of the fire granasi? I'm not sure he's much of a threat. I'm not a problem. But I'm not really a solution. You guys might be my solution, actually. What do you think, Oriah? We're just trying to <clears> understand <throat> him. It's not making it very easy. I, well, I mean... Where are you guys going? Do, do you know where, where you're going? Are we, going? No, we don't actually... We don't actually know. Well, uh, Ayla is being very quiet. Ayla? Ayla? She's probably thinking, I imagine. Though she was strangely silent after the battle as well. Hey! Hey! Did anyone see anything strange? Did they find. She'd been injured or anything. I... Needles? There's no needles. You were a zombie. I wasn't a zombie. Yeah, they must I... have cast some sort of spell on you. We've got a spawn monster. It could be Someone who's very like me couldn't be a zombie. I got poisoned. 
She stood next to a portal maybe. for a while. <laughs> maybe poison? Maybe it could be a poison. I got poisoned. Hmm. Was it the uh, the mushroom creature, maybe? The mushroom creature? Yes, the big hulking monstrosity. Yes, yeah, I did not see it. Uh, a big creature made of spores. Are you all right, off. Ayla? Huh? Are you okay? You seem to drift off for quite a long time there. What was the last thing I said? Um, <laughs> something about a watch. Oh, that could be anything. <laughs> That's all we've been talking about. <laughs> Did you get injured in the battle? Is there anything strange? Um, oh, the, the icy, the icy things. Like. Hmm. hmm what strange. about the mushroom creature? Anything strange? About well, it was that? all like gross and gassy and made me feel a bit sick. But. Did you huff any of the gas? Inhale, breathe in. Potentially, un unintentionally, probably, like there's a lot of it in the we should vicinity. Keep, we should keep an eye on you, just in case. Some of these creatures can have poisons I... and such. You don't feel sick or anything? I did earlier, but I'm kind of okay now. Okay, all right. Well, perhaps perhaps you're just tired. It's been a lot to going on. Um, yes, well, the Fire Ganassi will either... I don't recommend you stay here, sir. Well, I, the town will probably not be keen to know that, and intentionally or not, that you brought some um, bad luck on the town. Yeah, it took a long time to get you guys turned around. You are turned around, right? Do we have another person to add to the group? What? Just to let you know. Huh? We're not doing great on the tally of, of alive people right now. Do you still want to wanna be around us? So, like, those two were part of your group? Yep. What did that? Multiple different bad things. people. Well, see, that's where I get the question that you didn't answer. Who are you guys? Like, what are you? You just we are a bunch of strangers that have come together in an unfortunate accident in an airship, uh -huh. and thus have had to try and survive the whole time. And unfortunately, got embroiled in a series of events out of our control, and have tried to save certain places or people, and unfortunately have lost two along the way. It's been a real shitty month. But you're the good guys. Month? You're good guys. <laughs> uh, From what yeah. I've seen, they seem to be good people. Arire, I know. Arire's been helping out villages in the area for a long time. I'm Scaldi, by the way, the priestess here. Oh, hey. Um, so wait, oh, priestess. Um, um, hang on, I got it. She gestures to like the lanterns, like the holy symbols. Yeah, that one. You got this. We had a religion class. Yeah, I, I missed it. Begins with a K. 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 Kalara. Oh, Kalara. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least you know the name. Wait, of you the know gods, each other? So. Huh? Oh. Oh. Yeah. You no, are we kind of. Did you miss all that? Like right there. Turns out we went to school together. Hmm. But he missed a lot of it. I missed so much of it. He gets. I, didn't, I said I didn't, I get, didn't go to school. Fair. I said I didn't get it. So, Fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing fine. I'm still alive. I didn't get it. I consider that a win. Or C's or D's or B's or A's. You got U's? There's no such thing. Oh, is there? How about you continue this conversation while we make preparations to leave because wagon. we're doing nothing productive yes. here. Right. We need a wagon. We need perhaps, a wagon. Uh, perhaps uh, Ayla and Araya could go fetch the wagon. Um, I don't think you should go walking around right now. I don't have to anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Flutes up, you know, <laughs> up to the ceiling. I'm worried that this will draw a little attention. Cool. But it's up to you. He likes attention. Don't tease him like that. Nova, I think you may perhaps uh, stay with our extra guest for the time being. So can I like join you guys? I don't know where you're going, I don't know where I am. Sure, like I say, your choice, two bodies. If you wanna, you're welcome to. I mean... I'm just gonna I, walk I, out of it. Okay, see, uh, I mean, I'd like to... Follow her out. <laughs> Orion's just like, mm, and then follows her. Yeah. I like to think I'm capable, at least, if you're gonna fight a hundred of these things every day, like it sounds like you've been doing, right? It's quite uh, dangerous on the ground. So that's why I fly now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, danger is my, it's not my middle name, but it would be cool if it was, right? 
It would be. Yeah. So, Ayla and Araya, you guys make your way into the town. You can see that Stenhill is trying to desperately recover from this fight. People are trying to put out a fire, which is at the inn. Uh, you can see Veskin, the tiefling, uh, is standing. He has no trousers on, just what? a shirt. Um, and is, oh, he's got boots, sorry, as well. He does have boots, okay. but no trousers. Uh, just a shirt, and he's got a bucket, and he's he's helping put the flames out and things like that. Because being a tiefling, he's just kind of stood amongst it, kind of unaffected by the flames. Un underwear? Uh, no, no. Just shirt. Just tails. swinging, swinging loose, <laughs> swinging loose in the wind. Um, tail also swinging loose in the wind as well. Polar opposites, weirdly enough. <laughs> yeah, just always in like rudders. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and they're desperately trying to put that out, but you, oh, in the near the edge of the town, you actually see Dear the God. merchant that you pass on the way to the Night Eye, the merchant and his son, and you recognize them because you see the great armored clack, <laughs> this big lobster-like creature with these huge yep. gripping claws um, out front attached to this wagon, and you can see they're trying to gather their supplies, and, and uh, it seems like they're preparing to make haste out of town. Um, you don't really see a lot of other tradespeople, or you don't see any stables or anything like that in Stenhill. Raya, I'm not gonna lie, people don't like me very much. So it might be best if you talk to people. I like if you're talk. trying to be persuasive and get this wagon, then I don't think I'm. Eh, yeah. Just from past experience so far, maybe these people here like me a bit more. We'll see, but I'm not very good with people. Well, we can both have a try and see how we get on. Sure. Wait, are you trying to get the wagon? You're not, not, not there. I'm not there. Yeah, no. <laughs> unless, unless you just walked off and followed them. You I'm, could do that. I'm pretty quick. Just in the Yeah, you're pretty quick. Facing a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Talking. Oh, yeah, you two left. I'm done. Yeah. I mean, if you, you could have you just been like, hey, where are they going? And no, followed I mean, them. That's fine. I'll stay here. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you guys make your way over and you see the little boy like, Papa, it's them from before. <laughs> he points down. Uh, and you hear, a, oh, oh, hello. We passed each other on the road, I think, when you were headed to the Night Eye. Oh, yes, yeah, yes, we did. Um, Can I help you? You wish to buy some goods or things to sell? Is there any chance we could maybe use your wagon? We're in a bit of a... I know, you're, I can understand, I know you're trying to leave, I'm sorry. Oh, well, um, is, you want to borrow? I mean, uh, we kind of need it to transport our goods. Where are you heading? Uh, we're heading up to Katowag. Katowag. Well, a big city. We want to do. Where, where, where were you going to head off? Katavag, or was there anywhere else we needed to go? Because we can. Good question. Where are we going? <laughs> I think you talked about going to the forge as yeah, well. It was the, the, there Where's was two the forge options in, between in, those two. In relation uh, to Katavag. So Katavag takes you up to the north uh, east. Um, the the midwife's forge, the ruin that you told about, is basically dead north. So right. If you send him to Katavag, you, you'd be going a separate way. Right. How about if we buy the wagon from you? Well, I need to make enough to make sure I can get a new wagon. Selling the wagon's not a problem. Uh, I'll, I'll sell you the wagon for 50 gold. That's enough for me to buy a new one and a little bit to cover my costs while I wait. Uh, the difficulty is Scorb. And he gestures towards <laughs> the clack. He's been with me and my boy for a long time. We're kind of partial to the old, the old crab. Um, is it, is it easy to obtain another one of these? You'd have to go out to the coast to try and catch one. You'd have to literally catch them and then try and train it, I guess. You could do it. It would just take time. Should we got our own clack? We don't have much time. No. <laughs> <laughs> it would be quite funny. It would be really <laughs> fun, though. Araya and Ayla just like, ah! <laughs> literally, like, I mean, they're, they're huge as well. These are things, these things are like, I don't want to do it. They're like the size of bison, these huge yeah. crabs. Like, they're massive with these huge crushing claws. Um, but you can oh, baby! Try. Stop! <laughs> you can try if you want to go out to the coast. It's about, I think, a day's travel to the coast. Yeah, we ain't got time, have we? we? Ain't nobody got time for that. No. Although I want to try. Uh, but maybe no. sell, I, I maybe sell him on for, oh, I'd have to charge a lot, buy myself a new clack, but it's the sentimental factor. What if I sold you, uh, oh, come on. I, have, I have a golden circlet. How much, you, how much is it worth? It's about 200 gold. I'd have to ask for more. He's training, buying a new clack is Good. 200 gold, uh, just to get a new one. And this one's been with us a long time. I'd have to ask for four. What if we traveled most of the way with you? With oh, use man. of the wagon? Uh, I 
guess you could, yes, that would be fine. I mean, we're heading to Katavag anyway. Do you have heavy load to bring? I'd charge you just a small amount to carry the load. Yeah. It depends on how far you're traveling with me. We're heading to the forge. The midwife's forge? That old ruin. I mean, that's quite a distance away from Katavag. It's the for the path basically splits. You'll be traveling up north along the Langstrom River. We're heading northeast towards the city. So it's only be a couple of hours traveling together. Uh, you should be careful as well. I've been hearing tales of goblins up near that side of the mountains, obsessed with the lightning and the storms, crazed almost, like feral little beasts. Oh, good. That's fun. I'm just going to make a note of that. I mean, goblins, goblins shouldn't be much of a threat to a warrior like you. But just to be careful. In numbers, they can be dangerous. Do you Good reckon to know. we could move the wagon ourselves? And then let you keep? You look strong. You could pull it. It'd be tiring, hard work. Perhaps if you had uh, other, another beast, you could use that, but... Are there any other beasts that we've seen since we've been in this area? In the area, seen? yeah. There's the store. Well, in, in Stenhill, you haven't seen any for sale, but in the swamps, you saw the giant crocodiles, the storm scales that the lizard men were riding. Um, and they're a bit closer. That would probably take you like half a day to go out to the swamps and try and wrestle a storm <laughs> scale, uh, hook a harness up to it. You need to buy harnesses and stuff, but you could try. And he's going to charge 400 just. The... That's what he's asking for. You can try and bark with him if you want to try and get the price down. He said that 200 gold for a new one, so there's probably a bit of room to bark down with. Mm. Look at the bottom of that. Oh, is this our money? Oh, your not money, yours! Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> not mine. Mm. You've mm. got a lot of gold. Mm. We have assets. <laughs> <laughs> You, you picked up a lot of loot in the night. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, we did. Um, how about 300? He like, makes a face like, oh, he's been with the family for so long. You make a persuasion check. I understand. We also have two bodies, unfortunately, to take with us. Hmm. Make a persuasion check with advantage. I'm not uh, very persuasive. Four on both. <laughs> oh man. I appreciate that your situation, but the most I could do is 375. 350. Mm, he just shakes his head. Damn it. You failed that check? Sorry, Bob. No. Bar. Oh well. 375 is the, the lowest I can let him go for. Scorb is, he pats the old clack on the shell. He's been with me a long time. He'll probably outlive me. He's that old. But he's strong and hearty, and he knows the storms well. He's a good clack, good clack. He pats the shell. <laughs> you just hear like it's almost like a faint purring, like a Bubbling. like a, a noise. More clicky. Yeah, like click, like. Mm. Mm. Sure. We got it. Got to get there. Yeah. I'll take all my goods off. I'll have that all ready for you to go. The, the I'll throw in some party. traveling supplies if you need them. Crab dinner. Yeah. Four, sure. Four two five for the wagon and, and scorb. Four combined. Make a persuasion check. Mm -hmm. mm. Nineteen. Oh. Four hundred. Wagon and scorb together. Four hundred. I got my circlet for two hundred. So. Yeah, can I have retroactively taken 200 gold sure. from Nova? Yeah, that sure. <laughs> so, mark that off. Um, I'll, have I'll say the two uh, two silver bars. Just so, just mark, yeah, mark those say. off. Sure. He like weighs them up. He's like, yes, this will do. And the circlet. All right. All right, boy. Come say goodbye to Scorb. Oh, we'll God. We'll get the things off. But, Papa, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, sometimes we have to say goodbye to the things we love, boy. Come on. This is what it takes sometimes. We got to be merchants. It's like we've got good gold. We got the new. We got the new clack. A pat's it. Better clack. No clack is better than score. He's <laughs> my best friend. And he, he hugs onto Ooh. the little crustacean's armored plate. And you hear the like. <laughs> um, 
Honestly, it's, little... it's been such a rough day. I got nothing left anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right. And then he starts packing up his gear. I'll have it ready in, uh, what? How long do you need? I can get it ready in a few minutes if you need it. Yes, yeah, sounds good. All right. All right. Well, we can, we still need to discuss where we're going, maybe get some supplies, so. Okay. Take a couple of hours, maybe an hour or so with, with say, All right. say goodbye and we'll. All right, look after Scorb for me. We will, thank you. He likes, he likes the fresh worms. Fresh worms, I'll make a note of that, don't worry. No, no dried worms for Scorb. Fresh worms. We knew someone who'd be very good at finding worms. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> That's the old crab. Yep, yeah, okay, yeah. Thank what about the rest of you guys back in the temple? <laughs> Three. <laughs> we'll come back. Yeah. So what have you guys been doing while they've been out bartering for a wagon? Wagon. And Scorb. Scorb. <laughs> so, what's your favorite color? Huh? Oh, uh, probably like, um, red. Nice. Kind of like my hair. Very kind of lovely. Like hair. What about mm. yours? Because it looks like everything, actually. I love all colors. Everything? Equally. Equally? Yes. Ah. What about you? Blue? Yellow? Hmm? Blue? Yellow? You're yeah, wearing it. I guess blue. I am blue. You I guess blue? blue? Come yeah. on. Like, one of them's got a... It's just not important <gasps> to me. I, I float. Close. There's Ooh. something. What? There! It's awful! What? It's awful on your wait, chest! Wait, wait, what do you mean? No! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! What the hell was that? Tee! And I flitter away. You always like that? Oh no. Uh no. This is better than anything I could have ever hoped for. <laughs> Amazing. That's new. Luscious? Call me Luscious. Luscious? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> it's too much. Too much. So just Lucius? Lucius? Fine? Just Lucius. Lucius yeah. something something, Elonesto? Yes, okay. sure. Just Lush. Lucius. Right. Lush. Hey, so that crown, um, see we were taught not to just put everything on that we find uh, in case it might be like... Oh, you did learn something then. <laughs> <laughs> if I five Luscious. <laughs> Going with Luscious. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, so, when you high five Lucius and uh, Lucius coughs for a moment, his body kind of erupts in a cloud of pixie dust and it just this glittery silver dust aligns everything and you, you feel a bit light on your feet. Excuse me. <laughs> Woo! What was that? I honestly have no idea, but I love it. So this is all new <laughs> since the crown, right? Yeah. Katie loves this. <laughs> Ayla would hate it, but Katie loves it. <laughs> I want that. I don't you know. want? I want. I that want item. that thing. <laughs> well, it almost got to you. Like when? Because it was when Lucius was like, "Pick it up." I was like, "Oh man." Oh man, oh man. <laughs> she wouldn't have put flowers on her head. No, it, if you'd picked it up, you'd oh. have to make a save well, when oh, you do maybe. this. Oh, it was a good thing. <laughs> it's <like, laughs> boom. So it's like when you mage tanned it, I was like. <laughs> but yeah, when you touch it, it's like a wisdom save of like the Santa Claus where you're like, I must push this on my head. <laughs> I have very oh bad wisdom. Amazing. That would have, I would yeah. have failed that. Close save. Yeah. Um, what would daddy think? <laughs> Anyway. Can we come back? Yeah, sure, you guys arrive. <laughs> you arrive as like, <laughs> Nova is like brushing pixie dust off. Oh, Dizzy. What's happened? Oh, this guy sprays out dust. Yeah. Pixie dust. Oh dear God. I refuse to ask any more questions about this kind of thing. This is becoming a little too much for me, I'll admit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know where he sprays it from. It just seems to come from his skin. I don't want like, to think about I it. Want I don't want to think about where all this comes from. I just mm. want to get on the road. <laughs> On the road, yeah. Get so, normal. on the road, where are you guys going? Because, uh, can I come? Where are we going? I was thinking about this a little bit, and I really think we should go to the Midwife Forge. Because we were going to go to Ketafarg to speak to the Shepherd, but like I said, Druid, reincarnation, race change. And, 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 and I don't know if Quill or Sentry, I don't know, would they be happy with that? I, but so we know Sentry said he didn't mind. We, we could speak with Quill. But Forge does sound like something that's very guardian friendly, somehow. Somehow. It's just, it was a different thing that was mentioned to us and I just feel like maybe we should investigate all options just in case there is another option to bring either one of them back. Wait, did you say Same guardian? Race. Oh man, that thing's a guardian! I didn't see one of those, like, ever! That's so cool! I keep hearing about him! That thing 
is our friend. Wait. Sentry. Are they not like just? No. Er, er, you know? <laughs> er, er. <laughs> Piri. Huh? I'm gonna advise you on something, okay? As a fellow Ganassi. Yeah. And a fellow Atlas Academy alumni. Mm-hmm. Well. <laughs> shut this. I mean, I wasn't. I'm, I'm gonna point alumni. to my lips. Shut this. Okay. I. And just, just shh. Okay. I, I'm sorry. It's just. You I, are. I never, you are teetering into very dangerous territory right now. I'm just saying, I've never seen one before. They're really cool. Sentry was and is our friend. She is a living creature. Uh -huh. I am responsible for her death. Whoa, okay. And First no, of all, no. That's a lie. But hey. second of all, is he worse with people than I am? Because I'm really curious. He really is. Hey, Excellent. No, I mean, we are, we are on a mission to bring her back. I mean, I might be able to help with that. How? By just being there and like, I got flame stuff, so I killed a mushroom guy. But like, I don't know. She's made of part wood. I'm not gonna- Don't go near her. I'm not doing it to her, no. No, I'm just saying like, I, 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 I what's the biggest like town in this place? Katavar. Uh, Is that where you said Katavar. you were going? Katavar, yeah. Cause like, if, 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 if you're going there, I'll go there as well, like with you guys. And I'll help we're taking out. a different path. But we're yeah, we're gonna go to the mid. We're gonna go to the midwife's forge. Is it? Scaldi, looks I don't know much about the midwife's forge, but there's always stories of it growing up in Mirskir. We know that it was a temple to Velena, the goddess of creation. Um, there was a, a forge there. Uh, it's supposed to be a, 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 a very magical place where a lot of weapons were created for soldiers during the the war. Uh, there were attendants, Ember Elves, um, who ran the place um, after the war, but they've fallen silent. But there's always been a, there's always been tales, people going there to mend broken things. When something that couldn't be fixed, uh, they took it to the forge. Um, well, I mean, I mean, that sounds like a good place for me. Yes. Oh, and also, but also, and also, you know, obviously, but also, <laughs> this. Yes, we've got the idea, yeah. Mr. Perry. It okay. seems mutually beneficial. I, I mean, these are just stories. I can't make any promises that there'll be a way to bring back Sentry or Quill, or even repair your device. But those are the stories we grow up on. And that's what and I know. And you're so good at telling stories, Scaldi. Am I? Pat. Or is this... Pet. She like looks up because she's a dwarf. She looks up like, are you patting me? <laughs> yes. Don't do that. You don't like. Oh, sorry. I flitter away. It's very hard to process this, uh, but okay. This guy's very handsy. Hmm. Definitely more handsy now. If he touches me, I'm gonna punch him. I will never do such a thing to disrespect my dear friends. Excellent answer. Anyway, we know what's in Katavag. We know that the shepherd is there. So if we find nothing at the forge, we curve around and we yes. go to Katavag. It'll be easier to go from the forge to Katavag than it is to Katavag to the midwife's forge. So we take we a round trip. Ooh. Sounds good to me. We'll also be able to pass pass. We'll also pass alongside the storm wall. And I know Quill's people live there, the Aracocra. It may be that they have answers. Most if definitely. there's nothing at the forge, or if we can bring Sentry back at the forge, perhaps the Aracocra will know how to bring Quill back. It's worth a shot. His people may be able to provide some insights. It seems like we have a plan. All right. The forge first. We also have a clack, whose name I have already forgotten. A clack? Scorb. What's a clack? That... Scorb. Can we He's... meet? Yep, that's ours now. What's a, oh. what's a clack? Did you kill? Oh, sure, you? I didn't kill things. Okay. Good. Well, I'm ready to go, about um, all of you. Is there anywhere we can buy potions, or I feel you like bought them. you... bought them. Yeah, you bought <coughs> out the stock here before. Did Quill have any potions on her? I don't think I can so. check. Did Sentry have any potions on her? I mean, he's, got, <laughs> he's got a few things on him, if you want. <laughs> about Sentry? <laughs> Oh, God. I know Araya has some potions that she might have forgotten about. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Might have been pointed out in a YouTube comment, and I I checked it, and then um, Araya might have forgotten that she had some healing potions. Who was the one who made the medicine check last? Um, I think you know oh that my song. god! I think you know who made that medicine check. It happens. This stuff happens. It's cool. We got Perry now, and he's a delight. It was in panic. <laughs> Thomas, Thomas. <laughs> Look, you century died first. You can't be that mad. <laughs> oh boy. You can't be that mad. Century died that first. Mad. Quill could have healed century. She's literally whimpering under. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We all make mistakes. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> it was just, I was waiting for the who has potions question to come up because I knew that I was just um, like, I even said to Rihanna before we started, I was like, just, just want to check. I have you to. Have the potions. <laughs> 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 it happens in the moment you forget I about had, stuff. I you had, forget I had, I had to laugh, but I couldn't headbutt my way through yeah, the yeah. wall. To, to slap him. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you know who your friends I'm are? I'm so sorry! <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's crying! She's crying! Uh. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's my face hurts. Anyway. <laughs> right. You want so to just to, really oh. fast. Just, just to make it clear, there are no potions to buy in the town. You bought them out last time. <laughs> the That's town fun. doesn't have any magic items. It just has... Um, oh, man. It just has the base thing. Scaldi does have two scrolls of cure wounds, first level. Um, which she's going to take with her. Do we have rations? Food rations. Uh, they are being provided by the merchant. He said he'd okay. throw in some tra traveling supplies. Um, uh, I don't have any. Oh, sorry, Quill doesn't have any potions of healing. There's nowhere Do here I? That I can. No. Theory, no. No. Do I think that with the nature of your organization, you're not in the place long enough to like for them to keep equipping you with stuff like that. Okay. No, take take a regular healing potion. Actually, one regular healing potion. Cool. They give that to you for emergencies, I think. Uh, yeah, okay. It's been pointed out that Quill couldn't have regained hit points anyway because he had a thing He on had him. the thing on him. There we go! Hey! It was it's fun! Okay. Thank you. Yeah, but who it would have stabilised. It would have stabilised. The other thing uh... is that you had to spare the dying. <laughs> I had to spare the dying as well. So. You had to spare the dying. Yeah, but you, but you were trapped him. behind the wall yeah. as well. We couldn't get to him. It was only Araya and Lucius, I think, were the only ones that could get to him, and Lucius was out of initiative order. Like, he would have gone before. Yeah. It, these things happen. Like... Yeah. So eh. to learn how to headbutt through a wall of force. Yeah. It's on my to-do list. Dispel magic, well, that's how you do that. Do we want to talk with nope, Quill headbutt. before we go? <laughs> yes. Do we you want to talk with Quill? Dead? I think we should. Technically, you don't know what Quill would want. I think point. it's only respectful. I can perform the ritual again. If you wouldn't mind, Scaldi. Lucius. Lucius. <laughs> Just remember that. Remember that everything is a question? Yes. Remember you have five questions. Oh, yes, yes. What do yes. you want to ask? And remember it is an echo of Quill. He may not have knowledge. He won't have any knowledge of after his death. Um, or oh, his death? It may be different, but ideally I would avoid this subject. Ask really? questions about their life more. Uh, you can. They are aware of their death in some ways. Uh, I might have gotten this bit wrong last time because obviously you might want to ask how they died. Uh, they. You can ask questions about it, but the answers may be confused. Uh, they understand it only from their own perspective. If somebody does not know what killed them, then they would not be able to answer <coughs> the question. For example. Um, yes. Have some time to think. Um, you may. You don't need to ask them all in succession. You can. You know, go away and think and come back if you need be. The spell lasts about 10 minutes. I, I guess the first one would be if, if the, the same thing that happened to Sentry happened to him, would he want to come back as an Arakokra? Does it matter? If he doesn't, maybe we word it that way. I mean, it's pretty much the same question. <laughs> yes, 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 pedantics. Semantics. Um, I don't know words. I don't know what anyone else wants to ask, Araya. Um, I, I don't know. Is 
I, I feel like this is for you guys. Ayla? <gasps> I've got a good one. Is Ayla just not answering or are you staring off again? No, she's not answering. She doesn't know. Okay. We could ask about if he had any visions of Hesper at the end. I remember they won't have any knowledge past their death. The echo. Anything from Hesper that we don't know already. Yeah. Okay. Did Hesper tell you anything that we don't know already? Does he know a way to get himself and Sentry back in one piece? Because he's very smart. Okay. You can ask Quill what he would like to do about Sentry, if he had an idea of how you should bring Sentry back. Yes. Okay. Are you ready? And his favorite color. I mean, we do have a fifth question, so why not? Orange, we don't need that one. Yeah. Skelly begins to cast the spell. <laughs> Restraint, Lucius. Um, it's a good word. She goes around and slowly lights each of the candles and the lanterns around the room, and a heavy incense fills the air. Scaldi, with her long, pale, blonde hair tied up in the black leather bands, makes her way, and with a small pestle, mortar and pestle, she wipes a kind of clear black liquid over her eyes closes them for a second and reaches a hand out. Then she brings the lantern, shakes it once and it emits a green flame. She passes it over the body and you hear this kind of intake of breath into Quill's body. She turns to the rest of you. He'll answer your questions now. For podcast listeners, Kim is pointing to herself, mouthing, and everyone else is uh, nodding. Um, Quill, if you were to die and be brought back to life, would you want to stay as an Arakokra, or would you be okay with being a different race? You can answer in a short sentence. Okay. Do I have any awareness of my ne or where I am or anything? No. If I were to die... I mean, I, I'd like to stay as an Arakokra. In fact, I'd much prefer it. That's, that's the one question. Was there anything that Hesper has told you that you haven't told us? Um, I can't remember. I think I've shared everything. I'm the Chosen, there's a relic in the Valley of Storms. Um, and he says to be very wary of Kalistarbe. If... Do you have any... preference for how we bring Sentry back? Whichever way will bring Sentry back as we know her, She's a good friend of ours. Okay. I don't have that one. I don't have that one. <laughs> I think... Let's just uh, st step away, step away, step away. Yeah, you guys can step concur. outside. Lucius, shut your mouth. Mm, yes. <laughs> Perry is also in the room. Perry? Perry, you've just, they've just been asking questions. You don't... You I don't know if you understand what it is. Ask a thing. I'm not going to ask anything. I don't know this guy. I just wanted Tom to ask a question to himself. <laughs> anyway, so what, you pull everyone away out of the room. We've got two more. We could ask him about whether he prefers the midwife for what she thinks the most uh, intelligent option. But he just said, he says, he says... Whichever way brings was... her back as we know her, which means yes. forge so rather forge. than chef. Yeah. Hey guys, Kala Starbang, chosen of Hesper? Yep. Later. Well, later. <laughs> okay. I got, I got a lot of questions. Scaldi looks over like, welcome to the club. Don't ask them <laughs> here right now. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then that means that, then that means Katavag is off the question completely, right? Quill For Quill. For Quill. He did seem to prefer Sentry comes back in her original form. That was the interpretation I got from yeah. his answer. So it seems that the forge seems to be the, the next step. Um, is there anything you wish to know about him or anything else? 
I can end the spell early if you feel that there are not questions you wish to ask. We should ask him if he's got any family that he would prefer to be taken back to if the worst happens. That seems a good, that is often what many people come who wish to speak with the dead ask. If there is any burial rites he wishes us to observe, or if there are family that he would want his remains taken back to, such and such as that. Should we go back in? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Quill, if the worst was to happen to you, is there any family you'd want to know? Or burial rites you would like performed? Um, my family where you think I'm dead. You don't need to tell me. But I miss you so much and I hope you come back and I'm so sorry that you died! Did I what? No, it's not, it wasn't a question. It's not a so. question, so you wouldn't hear it. <laughs> and, okay. you, and you wouldn't respond. Alright. Because it's not a question. Buddy, am I your best friend? Lucius? I mean, I think so. Ah, that's it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the spirit, you watch as the breath <sighs> exhales from the body um, and the slight green dim glow in the lantern Ow. fades. Right well, in the fields. Oh, his uh, family already oh, think he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> you have multiple best friends. Not in my life. <laughs> um, yeah, the spirit fades. Well, I think that we have our clear answers now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so that was uh, that was Quill, right? Yes. Jeez. Um, hey, he's my best friend. Man, I'm really sorry, like, I didn't... I haven't really ever lost anyone close to me. I didn't really know it was going to be like that. Um, well, let's hope that you don't have to. Are you still willing to help us? Oh, yeah, I mean, like I said, I... Wherever the biggest city is, what was it? For, uh, Katavag. Katavag, yeah. If, if, if that's the biggest city, whatever route you guys take, I mean, you seem like good people and if that's the way to travel that's the way to travel and catabag is probably where i want to go think some good people someone likes me we're yeah. not going think nope sorry we're not going to catabag well whatever route you take i mean we might we might eventually route, right? after the forge and potentially quill's family slash our cook group people but he said no but if they the might have a way that we can help your him. device anyway that sounds perfect that would circumvent a lot of these problems and also if the forge is dangerous i might be able to help you there like oh i go to work uh, now that you've said danger the merchant did say that there were a lot of goblins around the forge area mm. of course being really weird and liking storms and stuff so well as, as a... i could probably help with that and just help fight them at least if they come to attack us and also if the forge is dangerous I, that's what i do i navigate dangerous things quickly Get in, get out. He used the word crazed goblins. Just saying. Is there any other then. kind? Mm. <laughs> Last time we fought goblins, I smooshed one against the tree and it was great. One ate my books. You're cool. <laughs> she's she's hey! a goblin against the tree and she carries like a massive hammer. And I don't know if you noticed, by the way, lightning. She shot lightning. It's quite obvious, yes. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> he likes me. It's fun. She's great. I mean, we had fire. This has never happened. Oh, yeah, and fire. Scott, Scotty cool. just looks like, yep, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, fire is cool and all, but like, I got fire. Okay, shall we get moving? Yes, I'm going to yes. go say hello to Scorb. Yes, let's go, let's go show you Scorb. 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 Okay. He likes worms. Scaldi. Fresh worms only. Uh, Fresh. I'll wait here for you to bring the wagon round for the bodies. Okay. But I'll be here waiting. Uh, you are led, Orion leads you through the town. Um, you begin to see that there are gathered kind of like locals no watching from doorways, kind of especially towards Perry, like, mm, 
is he the one that they've been talking about? Like, he's the only flame man with fire hair. Uh, but you quickly navigate your way through the streets, and out on the outskirts of the village, you find uh, a pretty sturdy wooden wagon with a basic covering. And you also notice that there are chains that detach from the sides and, and have pittens to, to be staked into the ground, um, presumably to help oh, prevent the winds. The mm -hmm. um, but in front of it is this huge, dark blue shelled lobster crab uh, with these big eye stalks, um, big kind of like dragon claws, little tiny legs under its armored carapace hitched up to the wagon. Well, actually, you know what? On second thought, maybe I, I can just go there on my own, you know? <laughs> I don't need to... What is that? That's Gorb. a fork? Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze all over him so he can runs <laughs> glittery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, you kind of go, <laughs> you sneeze, and a cloud of this pixie dust kind of <laughs> erupts over it, well, that's and really sprinkles disgusting. over Scorb. Hello, Scorb. And you see, it's almost like Scorb's legs kind of come off the ground a little bit. And he's like <laughs> gripping on, but like he's, he's become very light. <gasps> I think I just made Scorb float. Well, we want him floating away in case there's a storm. We want to try and keep him down. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> he's like pushing it. He's gripping onto the ground, but you can just see like he, there's like a little bit of a panic as in, uh, his eye stalks wander around as he's okay, like. Oh, sorry, sorry, it's okay, Scott. I, I didn't mean it's to okay. do that. But you're so beautiful now. <laughs> yeah, he's very sparkly. <laughs> That's how people just travel around here. Apparently, it's horrible. Apparently, so. Uh, we'll need it. All right. Look after Scorp. I will, don't worry. There's a bag of his favorite worms. Oh, thank you very much. We'll take good care of him, don't worry. He might pat you on the shoulder. Thank you. All right, come on, boy. Goodbye, Scorp. I will love you. Always. We'll take good care of him, thank you. Okay. Don't worry. He drags the boy away. And then reaches out a hand. Little Ooh. boy! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm beautiful. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> <laughs> when you try and cough, it's not as effective as when you <laughs> It's more like when it's unexpected, it kind of erupts out of you. Okay. But you cough it a little bit like... Eh. He's like... Eh. My papa did the fairy man spat in my face! <laughs> Get away from my boy! <laughs> to make him fly! Uh, crazy high elves. Never mind. <laughs> <Yeah>. Sorry! <laughs> um, where, where are you going in Catavog? Where are we going? Yeah. We were just going to trade uh, amongst all the different stores. I was just thinking we could maybe bring Score back to you. If you if head up that way, there. I'll give you the money back if you do. Yeah. If and we make uh, it there, then we will we will return him. Hmm. All right. Name? What's your name? You asking the guy? <laughs> yes. Torvald. Torvald. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name I did have prepared. <laughs> and uh, this thing. Friendly, right? Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. Give him some of if these. he likes you. He's very affectionate. Look. Is he? Uh, Scorb. <laughs> uh, oh, geez. <laughs> it makes like a hissing sound. When okay, you someone else it. is gonna have to deal with that. I don't. Know. Oh, he doesn't like it when he gets too hot. That's probably why. Very. Oh right. Let's keep it cold. Keep it real cold. Are you going to set the wagon on fire with that hair? Oh no. Am I? <laughs> I mean, does does it actually like cinder stuff? Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I feel like I feel like Perry would know. No, it it doesn't. It's it's like it's it's flame like, but there's no heat. Okay. I it's, really it doesn't know give if, off light if either. If you if you blow on it and it goes out, like Hades, like whoa, who put put out my hair? Like, <laughs> back, back. I mean, you've never had your hair go out yet. Uh -huh. Good thing we yeah. got a roofed wagon. Yeah. Mm, like Charmander, I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid oh, Charmander! You're useless! Oh, don't bring me back to that episode! So sad. What an idiot, Charmander! Anyway, to it. I'll it start um, leading the wagon back <laughs> to the temple. Yeah, uh, yeah. You guys load up the then bodies. I'm not gonna, will... We're not gonna drag that out. You load them up and you begin making yep. your way out of Sten Hill on the northern road, following alongside the Langstrom River, mm -hmm. as you begin to make your way up towards the Midwife's Forge. Excellent. Um, and before we wrap up for the day, let's just do a little deep percentile roll to Oops, see storm. if there is, well, first to see if there's a storm, and then to see if you get a random encounter to begin next session. So in terms of a storm, there will indeed be a storm. Hooray. Jesus, I have rolled that every single goddamn time. It's 25% chance. <laughs> every time. Man. 
Um, and then finally... Bad. Badlands. Mm. But we're more protected in the Interesting. Way, right? you, it is better than camping out in nothing. Mm. It is still not pleasant. Ah. 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 Uh, and with that, I think we're going to wrap up today's episode. Yeah. Cool. Read some, read episode. some donations. That was a great um, episode. I'm working on that. Thank and you. Another thank Getting you to thing. our three sponsors. Yeah, three sponsors. Today. Thank you, DD Beyond, Displate, and NordVPN. Thank you very much. Um, uh, Yes. Don't forget all of those codes. Display high rollers 15. You get 15% off your order. Display is really awesome. This is Rhiannon's one we've got currently up here. They've got loads of different brands. They've got loads of different artists and styles. Check those out. D&D Beyond, amazing compendium, character builder, all of that good stuff. And then the magical protections of NordVPN. Oh. There will be links for all of these and information on our Twitter at High Rollers D&D as well. Yeah. Is that the forget. scroll, the parchment yes, I made using the last of my Malaysian coffee? Yes. That is Quill's map. Mm. Someone else should take that, probably. I, I, mean, also, I, also, I also use it in Photoshop of the Ring a lot for parchment sounds. Yeah. <laughs> nice. um, also, a thank you to Woody as well, who yes. is a regular donator to the stream, um, for making, uh, I want to say Quill and Sentry's theme, but it, they were called Quill's Final Flight and Sentry's Last Stand, I think it was called. Oh, um, and they were playing throughout, well, at some points during the episode and before the episode. So thank you very much, Woody. Thanks, Woody. They, they, are, they are incredible. Woody. Um, you got it? Yeah, I have to, we have to do it through uh, Streamlabs. Okay. Alas. Do you want to just pass it to me and I can do them quick? Yeah. yeah. Let me figure this out. Just filtering it all out. Give it to me. Okay. Fun. Donations. It was a great episode. D&D fun. It was a good episode. Mm. Good wholesome mm. episode. Good wholesome. And you yeah. got your, your dumb fire boy. He's not a dumb fire boy. He just seems pretty dumb. <laughs> he's, not, he's just not world travelled. <laughs> like Nova. Yeah, true. But you read books in your time. My guy just So what does, it just periods just like runs around and punches stuff. Yeah. yeah. Is that what you were book learning? I was punching. Yeah. Punch, 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 punch. Well you're punching. watching the sports, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. To grey them out. Right. Uh, Royal Top Hat uh, donated Love the Stream. I only started playing D D in uni because of you, six of you. Also, I think I misheard the name of the group. Tom said Piri is part of I Heard the Proclaimers. <laughs> no, no, okay. I said I said that he was a reclaimer. A reclaimer, no. not no. of the no, he's not, that's not his group, that's the sort of what he does. Azul Aura donated, sweet fireboy Piri, cute fairy Lucius. Curiouser and curiouser, cried Azul. A nice comedy episode was exactly what we needed after last session. Also, there may be an Easter egg Woody and I put in uh, Repose of the Sentinels, if anyone can find it. Yes, I already told Ace of Thorns <laughs> donated. Pixies and mushrooms and crabs, oh my! This is not what I or anyone else was expecting this week. Is it genius or madness? Answer on a Deck of Many Things card. Uh, Mirnis donated. Two more deaths and we can have a full Ganassi squad, Kappa. Woo! Azul Aura donated. Okay, that was uncalled for. I'm sobbing now, right in my fucking feels. My family already think I'm dead. Am I your best friend? I think so. BRB, gonna go cry my eyes out. The game guy donated. It's good to be back with some high rollers. Perfect thing to do whilst I rest my sprained ankle. Piri seems like a cool dude. Interested to learn more about his backstory and the connection to Nova is hilarious. Hashtag no heel squad. Uh, yeah. Dries donated. What an episode. Holy shit. Keep it up. Uh, Drees, which is at Luffy, uh, who did like the, the 3D prints and stuff five. like that. Yeah. We All Burn Together donated. Well, this has been one hell of an episode with Pixie Lucius and Scorb. Protect him with your lives. He is too precious for this world. It was so lovely to see you all enjoying yourselves. Mm. Woody, but thankful. We had two Dannys this week, and out of the 72 people who bet, 21 were correct. A big thanks to Chat for the love of my piano. I've stopped shaking now. Thanks to all the HR crew for being my muse, and thanks to Tom for the sweet, sweet exposure. Running Stickman donated 30 knock. With Lucius Crown, is he now a pleasure elf? Wow. Uh, <laughs> Nightjar donated. Please, I will pay you all to keep the precious sweet an angel Scorb alive. Also, I mean, I think so. Now added to the list of words that cut chat so deep in the fills, along with, I quite like green. Um, and I th oh, think no. that's all of them, because a lot of them were greyed out, I believe. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I don't up. know. We might have missed some, guys, unfortunately, due to have. the the donation reader. Um, so I'm it's very busted. sorry if we didn't read out your thing. Tech problems, uh, we will try and catch up thank with that. But thank much. you, everybody who does donate and subscribes and much does all of that good stuff. It's much appreciated. Hey, we'll be back next week. We won't have Trot with us, sadly. No. Um, Fairy Lucius will not be joining us as Trot is going Sorry. out to good. Los Angeles early. Um, and then the week after, we will be, uh, most of us will be in LA. Yeah. But you will be able to watch Live. You will be able to watch us. It'll be a bit later, though. It'll be at seven o'clock. Um, and with that, 
thanks very much for joining us for another episode of Arois. Thank you thanks very much. Y'all. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.